Now the real start begins. Hello, I am JSA19, this is Dizzy, and this is the Star Sector's fourth round, or well, second round of the fourth tournament. Uh, yes. We're going to be... We're going to be starting off with Dan's uh, iFed, which we already went over off camera, but who cares? So here we go. We're just going to start the mission and just hope for the best. <laughs> this has been a real bizarre adventure, and I apologize for it. This is my first time. All right. Oh. All right. Drag free cam. Let's zoom out. Get a good Thank area. You. Okay, so budget's pretty close. There's a twelve and a half thousand gap, just in case anybody wants to, you know, mm -hmm. keep that in mind. Streaming is a fun adventure. Snack. I agree. Yeah, holy crap. So yeah, the fucking the carrier, the Gabriel Hanfier, just Anon warping says ahead. That, a Anon <gasps> says that iPad cruiser. I think you're mistaken. These are like six capitals. Man, these fighters are so deadly! Oh, 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 just wait till you notice the bombers with, uh, six Sabos. Oh my god. Like, they, they just have two Sabos. What? <laughs> Jeez. Yep. I fed, Beautiful. stop. This, Here we this, go, we have a nice line. line. We have a nice line developing. Well, that is if I fed could actually move up. Yeah. They're just sitting back here. Minding their so, own business. Oh. So the, the thing I saw last week when uh, we were doing this was that iFed had a big problem with their... Um, Am I dropping frames? I... It doesn't look like it. Nothing massively. Okay, because it looks like... It looked on my end that I was dropping frames. My bad. Um, do yourself a favor and don't check. I'll be the guy. I can be the guy that checks everything. You right. don't have to waste your bandwidth by All right. running your own stream at you. All right. Yourself. Thank you. I needed that. <laughs> yeah. Man, I really hope the internet doesn't, you know, doesn't just fucking die. Oh, we did lose some frames just then. That might have been I, I was talking about net screen. neutrality, but okay. Alright, there's I, I, just so much going on, I can't even commentate. Yeah, there, it's a very noisy fleet. There wasn't much for me to talk about either. I was just laughing at the Harpoon and Sabo fighters. There are so many. Oh, there was a Lancer going off. Oh, there they are. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, shit. And they completely missed. Look at them Oops. go. Oh, I, I, I see it now. And it hit a shield. Well, there was one of them that hit a shield, and yeah, uh, the, shield the other three missed. <laughs> Spoilers. What a good faction. Um, yeah, as I've, as I've been trying to say. Last week, the issue with the fleet was that all of its unshielded fighters, even though they were hilariously lethal to like mm -hmm. hyperbolic degrees, yeah. Once they started going down, they they were they were dead permanently because mm. they didn't have defenses. So the fleet right. kind of just ran out of missiles and sputtered out. Yeah. Whoa. I'm sorry. That Titan freaks me out because it's just a massive capital, and then suddenly it's right in your face. Oh yeah. It 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 has a Hyperion teleporter. Yeah. Because that's that's balanced and Because that's balanced. <laughs> toot toot. Oh. I was... Alright, there we go. Oh, oh By geez. the way, try not to lock onto things for too long. You've really? been locked onto a uh, dead ship for a while. Got it. Was that's, I? That's weird. God damn, yeah. delete this. You, you, got, you gotta not be locked on... You're, you're locked onto the mule. There you go. Am I? Oh, oh, well, oh, right, in the past. I, I'm right. like five seconds behind you, dude. <laughs> I'm right. not so sure you're five seconds behind me. All right, here's the second wave. And already, just the mass of harpoons is scary. <laughs> it looks so silly. It really is, because the missiles are like half the size of the fighters themselves. All right, here's the Ares with EMP, because, you know, that's balanced. Complete overkill against frigates. Complete overkill. Oh yeah, this this is just a meat grinder. It really is. I appreciate a good meat grinder, honestly. Uh, yeah, me too. And um, may, maybe they hit um, they'll hit critical mass with their fighters and not run out of them like they did last week. Um, Plus, it's, it's six waves instead of ten, so they okay. might be able to keep the um their missile stockpiles from being depleted instantly. All but right. But we're only on wave two. 
Yeah. It, these waves six. are longer per uh, per wave, I guess. Yeah. And it's hell, even then, some these, unfortunately. A lot of the time, especially with the harpoons, the AI will fire them, and then like thirty-two, like like they'll fire like thirty-two, and only like ten will hit like hit and actually deal enough damage to kill it, and the other like twenty will either fly off into space or will hit the same target. Hey, dude, saturation missiles. Hey, I guess. Oh yeah. So oh, now it's mostly thing. skirmishing right now. Uh, we're getting basically nothing. It's just. Just the fighters running around, killing everything. And here we go, and wave three. One mile, one mild um, problem with frigate heavy fleets is that there's not there's a lot of noise and not a lot of like high value and interesting things to look at specifically. Yeah, unless you're it's, looking at. Well, I mean, if you're fast enough with your camera work, you can definitely get good uh, shots in. But otherwise, oh yeah. yeah. So here's the lud. It can be fun to watch. It's just. It's difficult to commentate. Yeah. Well, here's the Lud fleet and uh, my glorious by Lud. How horrifying! Oh, fleet. oh, it's is that the IBB onslaught? Yep, uh, it is. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. Unfortunately, well, we it's exposing IBB, its yes, rear. I'm it's excited. exposing its rear fully to the enemy. A genius tactic. I'm sure Point the Luddites are really proud. I love release Star Sector. <laughs> <laughs> At least one of their ships is not being retarded right now. So we have an Ares and a uh, two Dominators facing off with fighter support. And uh, the Ares is not taking it very well. He is, his flux is going up pretty fast. Yeah, he's... If he doesn't get out of there, he's done. That's not very fast. I've been watching this. this he's he's fighting two dominators with safety overrides. Yeah. And Mark two cannons. He's he's holding his own. He kind of is, but I feel like his flux is too high for my. Nah, he's fine. All right. He's got enough point defense to just completely no sell one of the destroyer the dominators at a time. Yeah. And yeah. the other one backed off. The onslaught. The I onslaught mean, is just being cock blocked by all of by everything else. And if you ask me, the I'd dumb. say the IBB onslaught's genuinely weaker than the standard one. It, it I'm not needs so sure the about range that. for the uh, TPC to really really lay it on, you know. I guess I guess you're right in that respect. But here's the thing I need to put out there. Why don't we have more ships with TPC? There's another tram gone. Well, it's from, from, I guess because oh. okay. Oh, we're getting Disclaimer. some TPC action over here. Disclaimer: There's... This is a lower purist thing. The TPC was designed specifically for the onslaught. Oh my god. Or rather, the onslaught was designed specifically for the TPC. It, it's or... it's kind of like an A10 Thunderbolt, you know that. I rider. guess. Brr. Yeah. So we have a lot of. Uh... A lot of skirmishing happening. A lot of strikes by those horrifying missiles. I'm sorry. They're genuinely scary. And we're getting some good hits on, on some on the Dominator and the IBB is complete is over well, it was overloaded and it's getting swarmed right now. Absolutely yeah, swarmed. It, an onslaught oh, of safety oh, oh, doesn't really oh, get overloaded. Oh it's running away, it's getting into a better position. Oh, and, and here comes slapped. all the harpoons. Oh no, I can't, I can totally watch this. Oh god, oh ow. <laughs> oh, I tried oh, to get boy. in a better position, but by that lowering is... its shields, it just got murdered. Wave four. That was a good amount four. of harpoons. And, and still, it may be wave four, but this Lunox ship, oh no, oh no, I spoke too soon. <laughs> So it looks like this is the pirate, the really heavy pirate wave. So we got uh, we got a dragon. Oh my God, that Titan is so spooky. Oh yeah. We got a bunch of good pirate ships from Dara. Oh boy. And... I I do love me some dragons. Yeah, I I we really do like the dragons. Capital. Really nice, interesting capital, an amazing addition to the game, honestly. And this Ares is really taking a beating. It's going down. It's going down. 100 percent the there it goes i think that's the first the real under. i think that's the first death actually on uh, ifed's side and well, i think they're gonna the... take the dragon as retribution for that though 
Yeah, most of the ships in the IFED fleet are capitals. Yeah. <laughs> as absurd as that sounds. So when they start taking losses, they take them really hard. Yeah. Everyone else is just going to have a bunch of frigates or destroyers, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I am. Um... There's a nice battle line here. It's very established. Easy to see. I'm shook right now. Oh, man. That Renegade class is being lit up by a swarm of harpoons and sabos. Or sabots. Oh, that Griffin could be doing so much more, but it, it just died. You hate to see that happen. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, the Amalgam class. You know, we don't see Amalgam classes very often. What is that weapon? What is that weapon? Oh, that's a high intensity? Oh, it's just because the mod. I didn't, I didn't Yeah, like, oh, have you not used Light Show before? I usually don't use Light Show. I don't know why, amazing. but with my mod setup, it always crashes. Look, look at that high intensity beam and tell me why you wouldn't use Light Show. Because it crashes my game and therefore I can't see it. That's not an excuse, alright? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Figure it out. <laughs> so it looks like IFED sticking back, letting their, uh, their missiles do the talking while the pirates, uncharacteristically, are just laying back and taking it. It's not usually their style. They they really even can't they can't even get their uh, their main big ship the battle barge in with that way, glorious triple TPC. Look at that yeah, thing go! I, I was about to say you were you were talking about wanting more TPC and here's the most you could have on a the most level. TPC ever. Oh, this oh. is half of the TPCs total in the modverse and vanilla <laughs> on one ship. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, Reapers are going in, and they're doing good damage. Couldn't even couldn't even bring his shield that fast enough. Honestly, the the triple TPC is more of an intimidation weapon than anything. They it really it is. Have the flux. And it it's too inaccurate to actually get a nice number of good shots on, especially on smaller targets. Why? What? Are, what are you doing? You lowered your shields as a missile salvo was coming in. What's your problem? Well, it's at high flux, yeah. Ah. <sighs> The AI tries to open shields at like the last second possible in order to reduce flux. Yeah. Um, so often that means like there goes a stalker. The let one or oh, two the three. Titan did a huge play. Huge plays. Well, I'm excited for this huge Hyperion teleport. Right in between. Oh, I see. Right in between, yeah. like an absolute madman. Oh, so yeah, boy. while we've been talking mechanics and bullshit, half the fucking pirate fleet's died, and we haven't even what? commented on it. There goes the Infernus. I, I feel like there's just so much going on with this fleet, we need a couple rounds to understand what's going on and what to expect. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I, I mean, think honestly, they can I think they can go through get through the last wave. Oh, another good saw... What? If you saw the Prime League last week, the, um, I did not. the first round, which was uh, vanilla low tech versus the derelicts. Ooh, the Titan got hurt from that. Yeah, it got blown up. Got blown up. The, the ship blew up and damaged it. Yep. Anyway, the um, the low tech fight was basically just Nemo squeaming, like squeeing over the vanguard, slapping everything. Yeah. All right, here's a boar. You know, I really always want to try the boar because okay. you know. It's it's just so slow compared to the Medusa it's based on. And wave five. Yeah. Not not vanguards, it was the um uh the, the one with the oh. giant gun that... Oh in, it's in, the in... mod pirate wave. Oh. Oh boy, wait. Oh. Uh, are you saying underground? Un underworld I mean? Yeah, it's well no, it's not underground, oh. it's, no, it's it's faction stuff. Yeah, it's faction stuff. So here we go. My favorite pirate uh pirate face ship of all time. From Shadow Shadow Yards. Here we go, boys. <laughs> and this Antares is gonna go down, cause I don't know what possessed him to do this. <laughs> Poor little capital boy. And took out like took out a huge amount of damage and everything it blew up around. Oh yeah. Poor Smash. Poor BSK McGrath. Are there any capitals here? I think there's um, one. There is the uh, the Odin class over here. With a, oh, it's an Odin? Yeah, it's an Odin. Look at this thing. Got a Storm Needler and oh a God, bunch of Shadow Yard weapons. Um, I love Odins. They're amazing. Yeah. He's got a Storm Needler. 
you guys and your storm needlers. You cannot have more kinetic DPS than the storm needlers. Okay, it's first serious. off, yeah, I know, but here's the thing: it's a meme. All right. There's like two ships ever that can use the storm needler for more than five seconds. <laughs> I know. Oh, and there, there is actually a second capital that um that drone carrier looking thing up top. Oh man, this lance just got overloaded, and there's a huge missile barrage. That thing's going down. Yeah. Oh, uh, bye bye frigate destroyer thing. All right, the fleet right now is really divided. In fact, they might just lose this fight. I guess I spoke too soon. I don't know where this. Oh, All they're just... are good. Oh, oh wow, the uh, the Aurora class in this. Ares are just off chasing phase frigates, which is just a useless yep. thing. Yeah, um, that's part of why you don't want to go too capital heavy in this tournament. Yeah, and uh, this Centauri is just split you too hard. This Centauri is completely out of position, no support, and Yodin I think wants to tangle with it. And if I know the Yodin, it's gonna be able to tangle with it. But Yodin is a good ship. Yeah, it really is. That's that's. The end all be all of my commentary regarding that ship. Please use more Odins. Please use more Odins. Odins need to be loved. Odins love you. <laughs> so we see the Titan, which I really think has been the MVP all all game, with its fantastic teleporting place. And they're like, it's hard to keep up with it too. What mod is that other pirate capital from? I can't remember. Um, which one? The the carrier looking one that. Uh, with the, it was by the Odin. Oh, this one. It takes me. It takes me a few seconds to yeah, see I know. this one. The one with the dual hurricanes or whatever. Yeah, the other, the other. Capital. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's actually a, like modified transport. Apparently, I can't remember what mod it's from. Um. Yeah, the Centaurus is going down. It's it's completely. It's over. It's over, fam. It's outclassed. Goodbye, squad, fam. Can't have a shield when you got a strong dealer fire now. Yeah. You should have shield bypassed, loser. Shield bypass on an endurance tournament? Are you crazy? <laughs> I want somebody to do it. Oh I, I no, there goes the Odin. Oh, that's scary. Holy crap. Oh, that thing I, didn't I... stand a chance. <laughs> oh, but here comes the Titan. Titan versus Odin with the plays! The mad you teleport the, plays! Uh, you are aware of the Odin's ship system, correct? Uh, I am not, actually. It, it doubles its rate of fire for all weapons for like. Oh two no! Oh no! Oh, it's over. The Titan is overloaded, and I'm sorry, it's over. Goodbye. I love and I it love teleported Odin's. away! Whoa, it teleported away! It has a sliver of health! And then it's right back in the fight. Oh, the Odin, the Odin just got annihilated. The Odin's oh, gone. Don't, don't ever tell the Titan that it can't that it can't fight. All right. <laughs> that Titan is a goddamn badass. But I'm sorry. It's it, not... Off screen, it just got harpooned to death by the fighters. I think. <laughs> it just like, got a harpoon. The fighters that are taking the other cap now. It was it was just them swarming it. Oh my. Three sabos per second and like. Two harpoons. Look at all these harpoons. They're they're almost as big as the fucking ship itself. And there it goes. There's the and gone. And here we go. Final wave. Please, please be what I hope. It, it is. is Underworld. Yes. It is the Starlight. Uh, I can't remember the exact name. The Purple Boys. The Purple Boys. Oh, is that the IBB Astral too? Oh yeah, it is. Yes, it That's is. Awesome. And a bunch of astrals and medusas, along with scythes. You and... mean auroras? In a... There's only the one astral. Oh boy. Oh, auroras, yeah, my bad. my bad, my bad, my bad. There's Purple another boys. Ares Let's just go. gone. Yeah, the... the underworld is gonna dominate them because it. Just pound for pound, they have more staying power because of their energy weapons and shields. Oh, and yeah. I think I ended. think the the missile hoppers of the IFED are just run dry. Oh yeah, the Odins and um yeah the the omens not Odins the omen frigates are basically gonna no sell all the fighters. There's the there's an Aria class gone. It's it's over, fam. Bye. It's over. Bye -bye. Oh, there's a, there's the Yukon's fortress shield going up for a second. 
and wow, it's man. going down. I can't remember to have that. Yeah, we didn't see a lot of it happening, honestly. Titans retreating. Yeah, the Titans trying. It's trying its damnedest to try to kite the, uh, you know, the um, there is harbingers and around. the wolves and everything. But oh, here we go. Here's the last Harp. torpedo to barrage, oh. and I'm saluting. Vanquished. That's great. Press, press F. Press F. Survival tournament. Bitterly contested defeat. Your forces are defeated, but the enemy can hardly call a result of victory. Oh, well yeah, played. Be... All right. That's four points for IFED. I'll be tracking this, I guess. Thank you. Just because I got the paper in front of me and I pen. Ah. Oh, all right. Good fight. Now, now we get into all the waves. Yep. And now we have Ani's, or I hope I'm saying that correct, his, uh, you know, his NGO New fleet. New Galactic Order. Wait, what now? Yeah, New, New Galactic, Galactic Order. Order. Hashtag Freon. <laughs> Freon. What is that? It's like a Freon, you know, like reference to the fact that, you know, he had to change his mod. I'm making a joke. Don't worry about it. So, we ha let's look at his uh, fleet. I always really liked NGO, just... I feel like their fighters are a bit weird, but other than that, they're very red, and I appreciate color, like color coding. You know? Yeah. Um, I do know that every single fighter is equipped with auto cannons, i.e., kinetic weapons, so they just destroy shields. Yeah. So, so it looks like he went for a lot more destroyers and stuff. Mm -hmm. He looks very, uh, very fighter heavy, and uh, yeah. two Vidars. Finally, yes. I adore the Vidar. I love this thing. And, wow. He didn't actually fully equip them either. That's, that's different. He left two medium slots on each of them. But, yeah. but, each of them has a Quarks Accelerator Cannon and a Thurm Artillery Platform. So that's going to be a lot of nice long-range firepower. At least know. one of us understand what we're saying. Don't worry about it. I've played this faction a quite a lot, so... So, he has a lot of long range, it looks like. Um, not a lot of missiles, so... We'll see how that goes for him. Um, let's see his... Let's see his carrier complement right now. Um, pretty long range. He's got an aft strike, so these are basically... These are basically Reaper torpedoes, effectively. Reaper torpedo bombers. Um... Some phase fighters and some interceptors on each of them. That's a pretty good loadout. And then we have some Ein Herjar assaults, which are pretty heavy fighters. Rather slow, but we'll see how they do. And they're finally adding female space marines, apparently. Oh my god. Can we not talk about <laughs> this? Can we not talk about this? Alright, keep 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 going. Keep going on this. Alright. And well, let's... three shuttles? Am I seeing this right? Am I seeing this right? Three shuttles. So it looks like he went rather uh, heavy on the capital ships, considering he has four of them, and then two light dis uh, two light cruisers, and then three I guess, shuttles. shuttles. I guess I'll eat my hat when I said that he went more destroyer. Those were just fighters. Yep, just a bunch of fighters. A good amount. So let's see how he does. Should I play Ghost Brigade? You know, Sabaton's Ghost Brigade? I, I think adding music to this is probably not a good idea. Eh, it's fine. It's, it's just, that's, that's gonna mess with the bandwidth, it's gonna screw up, it's just... It's just more noise. It's Two fine. people talking, a game blasting off, and music? Come on. Panzer Elite. So here we go. You gotta wait, wait, press, uh, you gotta deploy them all. Yep, okay. Yeah, I, I did, I did. Remember, you're five seconds, you know, behind me. Way more than five seconds, but yeah. Yeah. Pretty decently close to the budget. Huh, um... 2,400. Okay. Am I? Oh. So that, um... That ship started off without an engine. 
Ooh, you mean uh, somebody's using like extreme modifications? Or yeah, something? it looks like the uh, the first wave of pirates at least is using extreme modification on some of their ships. Yep, yeah, oh, there goes pirate. an engine. Yeah, you can see engines sometimes go. Nice. So here we extreme have extreme modifications on phase ships. Here we have wow, it's the hard. NGO with phase fighters. It's hard to flat putting extreme mods on a phase ship is a special kind of hell. Yes. So here we have the Vidars coming up with the red tint tinted shields. I'm telling man, well, no matter no matter what your opinion on the fact, I appreciate a good color code. I really do as well. I especially like the custom, you know, tinted shields. You know, people rip on on for you know basically taking the basic premise of each of his ships from another game, but you have to remember he made every single weapon and he made them really well as well. Like, they look pretty great. Look look at the artillery platform. Look at that. Look at that animation there, too. Amazing. I'm, I'm sure you guys can't see it because of pixelization, but... Alright. Kind of like this fleet, uh, like the last fleet we saw, very fighter-heavy, so we're seeing a bunch of small little fights everywhere right now. Yep, um, a lot of visual noise, not a lot of highlight reeling. Yeah. One thing I have to say about the uh, that their heavier fighters, the Einharl, which is basically just one-handed sword in actually in, in another language, I believe that's I can't probably what. Norse. It, it's it's some Norse language, but uh, they might as well be light frigates with how much firepower and uh, stain power they have. Yep, there goes the torpedoes. The Alfier, the Alfier strike fighters rather slow and they just got annihilated yeah oh there's that uh phase fighter we you seeing yep small little burst of speed where are they chasing it over here they're chasing fighters really all right so we're seeing more battle lines over here we're seeing ngo push uh against the uh the colossus mark threes oh and there's a nice torpedo strike against that Colossus, but it doesn't look like NGO's going to capitalize on it. Oh, there's another torpedo. Huh? Huh? Yeah, nothing. And it's back up. It looks like we see most of the capital ships just uh, around this area. Oh, two overloads, and there they go. One right after the other. Who's dying, man? You gotta, you gotta narrate for me so I can comment on it. Uh, like mostly pirates. The pirates are dying, and uh, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm uh, gonna be uh, honest. Man, you, it's you, just your words. The Colossus Mark Threes keep getting slaughtered by NGO. Oh, and there was a fantastic charge. You'll see in a few seconds. Just we comes... always love fantastic charges. Yeah, the Vidar is using w good use of their ship system just to burst ahead and, and deliver burst damage. Fantastic. Fantastic force projection by NGO. Alright, over here we see just a brawl of fighters and frigates. I finally saw that charge. I'm going to refresh and hope that I get closer. <laughs> oh my goodness. I Again, I apologize. I'm hoping I can upgrade my internet soon, so maybe next time. Oh, and here we just see death, a Death Star build. Ooh, ooh, there's the coil cannons. And overloaded and destroyed. Not much left of the fleet, but it took a while for uh, NGO to take them down. Well, we saw that last time, too. This fleet just took a long time to kill. All right. The first wave. Then, like, every other wave took less time. Oh, okay. It's just something with this wave specifically, maybe? Yeah, it's probably just because there's so many, like, fast ships, and both of the fleets we've seen so far have been very, carry like, capital-heavy. Yep. All right. And we'll probably see quicker waves when we get to things that have, like, fast Wave capital. two, and it's just the meat grinder level. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all these frigates. Wave 2 is a good meat grinder. It 
really is. And something that the NGO is not going to be good at. If they can land... If they can land uh, their shots, this is going to be easy for NGO. But if they can't, it's just going to be a slaughter fest. Especially for these Vidars, if they can't outmaneuver. If they can stick together, they're going to be fine. If they can't, it's over. Right over here, though, we see the uh, battle carriers just annihilating any fighter that comes across them. Man, Wave 2 is exactly the kind of wave that I was excited to fight against with my own fleet. It's a lot of ships either without shields or with barely any shielding. And, I don't even uh, know what's happening in chat. <laughs> Would Jay say one day you'll have reasonable internet? Good joke, Mel. Good joke. That's never gonna happen. It's over. <laughs> oh, when we weren't looking, the, uh... The K? This, uh, Vidar class just took a bunch of damage. Mostly to its armor, it looks like. Well, that's what armor's for. Yeah, that's what it's armor for. And we just see a string of uh, heavy losses from pretty much every frigate. Yeah. Uh, one thing I'm noticing looking at this uh, VGO fleet is kind of, is that the cruisers are really hard. They, they can't turn very well, so they're getting stuck around each other. It's yeah. kind of reminiscent of Psy, but without the weaponry like missile base to counteract it. The thing about NGO is that every, like pretty much every bigger ship has armored weapon mounts, so they're really good at hitting an enemy right in front of them, and they're real if, if they if they can boost and maneuver correctly, they're absolutely deadly in the frontal arc. But if you yeah, get but around they're, them, yeah, they're getting each other's way. Yeah, exactly. Oh, jeez. So. Jeez. Well, we're getting CR malfunctions now with some of the ships, with, which uh, doesn't bode well. With NGO? Only yeah, yeah, yeah. They uh, generally don't last super long compared to other factions, so that is a problem. It's it's weird to watch this faction, I think, because they have very, very, very lethal weapons mm -hmm. and, like, low time to kill in general. But it takes them so long to get in position where they can make the kills. Absolutely. They are, um... They're rather slow, indeed. Mm -hmm. That's why I think uh, Ani uh, picked the Vidars here because they're they're the fastest capital in his mod faction. Yeah, the um the fighters are kind they're kind of relying on the fighters for all the kills, but the fighters also are incredibly slow. I, I wonder if they might need a, like if, if for performance reasons need some increase to their speed. Just let they're in line with the vanilla fighter profiles. I'm not even uh, sure because if you've seen the stats for some of these things, like especially how damaging, like say the one-handers are, the Ein the all, I will get it eventually. The Ein Herjar classes, the, these fighters right here, like they yeah. they just eat shields for breakfast. So now it's the Ludic wave, and we're seeing. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna see some uh, some f good capital fighting now, hopefully. Yeah. And and that's true what you're saying. You gotta balance lethality with speed with fighters, mm -hmm. especially because if if you have too much of one without compensating for a loss of the other, then it's mm -hmm. it's it's oh. rough and very abusable. I think this uh, Vidar got a bit too overconfident, and it's gonna pay the price. Oh, I, I saw the onslaught get some friendly fire action on that. Uh, oh, oh, like oh. Whatever it's called, the freighter. Oh, oh, that Cerberus took an entire torpedo barrage for the onslaught. Get out of the way, Mr. President! Is it not one hander? Ein Herjar? It's not? That's the dead heroes who died in Valhalla, you uneducated cultures. I didn't know that! <laughs> I didn't know, man. Hey man, I'm not Norwegian. I don't I don't Viking. Man, that TPC is just ripping apart the uh the dark glass. Yeah, oh, like, like, I think it just overloaded, it took two Reapers. And it's got an onslaught on yep, it. Yeah, it's it's it. down. We Oh that's a huge loss. That is a massive loss for NGO. 
completely oh, devastating. Yeah. But on the other side of the battle, yeah, this this uh this dominator is going down. Eye for an and eye. I, I still think that the um the Ludic Path's onslaught is generally weaker than a standard one, but its increased speed means that it's so much harder to get away from it. Yes. Which for a capital Capitals that are capable of pursuing enemies are just so ridiculous. They yeah. might not have the most power behind them. I would oh, and the Vidar up here overloaded, and it's it's got a Dominator pressing down on it and Strike Wings hitting it. Yeah, I think I think NGO just lost both of its uh, capital ships. Well, two of them. It still has the carriers. Well, it still has the carriers, but I'm still those were its heavy hitters and the spear tip basically now all yeah. it really has is its fighters which while strong on their own they need some support sometimes or else they're gonna get picked apart due to generally low count alright who do we have left we've got uh, two Ludic Path Condors Dominator uh, the Ludic Path uh, Onslaught they're really far out. Luckily, the carriers... Oh, there goes another nebula. Down. Oh! Gold Chopper destroyed. I think that's one of the uh, shuttles. So it seems all the carriers are sticking together, so that's going to be paramount if they want to survive this wave. They're definitely oh, not course. getting through everything. With fighters like these especially, but just in general, they're very slow carriers. Carriers, they need support of those fighters. They're gonna survive. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know what what this shuttle was thinking, but it wasn't thinking correctly. Oh, those thunders, those LP thunders. Oh man, that is such a fast strike fighter. So fast. Just strafing back and forth. Alright, so those are the fast fighters, I suppose, of the faction, then. Oh, uh, the Thunder? The Thunder's the, uh, Ludic Path. Oh, that's... oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And besides, the Thunder, the Thunder already is super fast, but... You give it, a uh, safety overdrive, and... yeah. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> they're, they're fun to watch. They honestly are. I wonder how, like, again, like, we've heard this, like, over, like, ye we've heard this, the same, like, request year after year after year after year, can we pilot fighters, and the reply is almost always no, but I'm gonna be honest, flying a thunder would be pretty fun. Well, the, the thing about fi flying a fighter isn't so much that it's not impossible, because it's incredibly easy, you can actually do it if you go to dev mode. Yeah. And, um, and here we see yeah, the problem but... with the uh, with the uh, with the fighters of NGO. They're rather slow, and while yeah. they have good armor, especially against a f higher target that they can't turn around and engage, they just get picked apart. Yeah, that's it's a similar issue that um Wan that Wan Wanzers Wanzers. You Wanzer. know those things it's actually from... pronounced Wanzer. Wanzers from uh, Diabol. Um, I'm, I'm mispronouncing everything because I can't understand vowels, apparently. It's they fine. they have a similar issue, but they have turret usually guns on arms. Yeah, and yeah. the most turning speed. So they counteract that by basically just being floating turrets. You know, it's funny. I, I used to think uh, Diablo was an original faction, and I played... Um, Diablo? No, Diablo. Diablo, yeah. Um, I used to think that they were an original faction, and then I played Front Mission. <laughs> Uh, oh, and here we go. The entire fleet is properly engaging. The fighters are picking apart that Dominator, and now it's on to the final big yep. target. At least they're maybe finishing this wave. Yeah. This wave really is kicking. Oh, and there's all the drill SRMs. Drill SRM, that's a good name for a missile, I think. Yeah. They're rather slow, actually. And they're really oh. low damage. They're basically just saturation missiles. They're just meant Have to... Have you ever seen a fast drill? Yes. Man, they are just tearing apart. 
and this is the power the power of uh, of NGO fighters. And and what? Excuse me? Excuse me. Oh, it just moved the camera. <laughs> oh. It just moved the camera. I thought oh, yeah, I thought box. it just despawned it and it was just like no, you don't get to see the onslaught die. <laughs> Oh, that thing still lasted for a long time, and already the pirates are already on the bat on the carrier fleet, the carrier it's, group. It's just carriers left. Just carriers somehow. Yeah, the um the wave always starts at the death of the second to last enemy each wave. All right. Which can and be unfortunate when the there goes that Forsetti, and it's only three Ooh. carriers left. Yep. Just picked apart by sides, and yeah, this is this is the capital wave. I don't think they're gonna. And I, there I goes all the sides. Way. Well, that fixed itself. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it did. Onslaught, off slot. That's great. Yep, there's a bunch of sabots or sabos. Am I the only one that thinks uh, sabot or sabot sounds better? I, I think Sabo doesn't sound like a word, I'll give you that. Yeah, it doesn't. And there I goes that woe, Dan. That, but I think the French are a silly people. Yeah, yeah. So, it's only two carriers left, and they've lost three fighter squadrons. Yeah, th this is this is the carrier wave. They're, they Each individualized ship has far more durability than any other wave mm -hmm. prior to this, so they can just brute force themselves through the fighters now. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that they have a good amount of point defense from the Eagle. Yeah, they have a bunch of point defense anyways. Yeah. Oh, I think that's the Venom X with the 17 seconds of peak performance time that Tart mentioned. Wait, what? Oh, the... God. Did it just explode yeah. off camera? Oh, boy. Because <laughs> it just got disabled. Uh, yeah, I think this is the end for the other Wodan. Don't cry because it's over. Laugh because it happened. Yeah, laugh at corpses. <laughs> and the Woden is overloaded. The Woden? The Woden. Is it Woden. pronounced Woden? I, I, I don't know. It just it just sounds to me like I want it to be named Odin, but I don't want to be that. Well, wo it's Wodan. Well, W O D A N after the uh, Rus pronunciation of Odin. Well, whoa, Dan! Look at the ship I just made. Oh, sh shut up! Shut up! You know that's a funnier joke because he took that ship <laughs> from Stars and Shadows. <laughs> Good game, by the way. You guys, it's basically it's just it's just um, Master of Orion two. And unfortunately, this. Sh These are weeb games, I bet. Actually, they're not. It sounds like a weeb game. It really is not. Have you played Master of Orion 2? I've never heard of it. It sounds like a weeb game. It's like. Oh my god. It is the very basis of the 4X genre. So. Wave 4 Vanquish. That's three points for NGO. Yep. Alright. Here we have Rotata Slate. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know anything about the artifact fleet. Anything. So, let's just look through them. We have, of course, this big ship. Oh, goodness. They have a lot of small slots. Y you may notice. Beams. <laughs> just yet, the, beams. The, the ship system, system is a defensive system that reduces all incoming damage by 30% for the same cost of DPS on all of its weapons. So, there's 70% damage beams. Oh. 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 Oh, no. Uh, this is all AI. It's all shit AI. It's basically, Mel, it's basically a Mar it's basically Mario Retardi. Hey man, it's like, it's good AI. Or AI meme just, soccer. It it just has some some low points. Let's call it that. All right. So that's. I'll do. I will never ever apologize for not knowing random obscure games. I'm sorry. It's actually not, not obscure. It's really 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 popular, and you you need to play it. Popular in what? 
bathrooms? Because that's shit. Oh! You've obviously never played it. <laughs> like, you're actually pissing people off, like, really bad. <laughs> like, you need to stop. <laughs> so, all these ships seem very similar. You know, integrated targeting unit and, um, beams, it looks like. Uh, no, I'm, I am, I'm wrong. A lot of, a good amount of PD. I don't want these speed the guns. Dork is right. These fleets are controlled by one player using a DDR pad. <laughs> No, no, it's, 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 uh, he's using his thought patterns, but unfortunately, he's retarded. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't really have much to say about Artifact, because I don't know anything about them. Just a bunch I, of cruisers, I, I though. I can't say much. They have a lot of saturation weaponry. Yeah, you yeah. You will be impressed. I've seen a bunch of the gifts about them, and they're great. Like, those gifts of, of, uh... Of especially this battleship, just with all the, all the heat-seeking bullets, or whatever. Yep. One issue this fleet had last week was that it didn't have a whole lot of actually high damage weaponry equipped. It was a lot of those low damage shots, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it couldn't fight the derelicts that had all the armor. Oh, so that's how it got. All right. Yeah. We'll see how this goes, though, because it's going to be a lot of ships with much lower armor mm -hmm. and partial shield coverage. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see how it works. Let's get right in there. All right. It's about... There's the value. And zoom out. Oh, I need to unpause right now. Oh yeah, Algul uh, Algulod had a uh, good uh, good point. It's an obscure 4X in much the same way that World of Warcraft is an obscure MMO. Never played it. <laughs> I mean, you can buy it on GOG right now. It's probably I one of their highest selling game. items. You can totally do it. It's really cheap. In fact, they offered it for free for a long time. I play Star Sector and XCOM, and um, I don't really go outside. <laughs> well, I mean, we knew that. We knew that from your fucking pony avatar, right? <laughs> hey, man. Dude, don't, don't worry. Dissing. I watched the first two seasons. By the way, and I jumped. I jumped ship. ship. I jumped ship the second it looked bad. <laughs> oh ben my Ryan goodness! Oh my <laughs> goodness! My stream's yep. gonna be pixelated as shit. Get ready for the compression artifacts. <laughs> oh no! That, that's the that's the reason for the uh, the name of the faction. By the way, artifact is the compression. Oh my god! Just cut it. death by a thousand cuts. Yep. Death by a billion cuts, more like. Oh my goodness! What is this a shmup? Is this a shmup now? <laughs> Omaga, get means. in here! We need your Tuhu skills! Yeah, here we go. Oh, it isn't compressing on stream, actually, yeah. It's doing a pretty good job of already being shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's neat as shit. Basically, uh, Mel, um... These ships... Do you want me to explain it? Yeah, just you explain it, because it's not going right. to be good for so, me. So, Star Sector is a game. <laughs> it's like you you design you build ships based off of a, a hull, and then you equip weapons, different modifications to it, and things like that. And you pit them against each other. Normally, you would pilot one of them in your fleet, but for the purpose of this, this is a player submitted AI tournament, where uh, instead we just submit fleets of pre-made fleet ships that we design and pit them against the. Uh, uh, survival waves that the guy who's organizing it set up. Last tournament we had a uh, fleets fight each other, but um, that took a while. Yeah. Last like three tournaments, and people get really competitive because we're all uh, we're all a bunch of autists. Test. Oh, by the way, I I hope you enjoy and appreciate those fighters that have the three beams. They don't yeah. do damage, but they, they generate hard flux on the target. What? 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 Yep. That's bullshit. <laughs> it's bullshit. 
How is this balanced? I did not hit her. I did not. <laughs> oh, hi, man. Oh, God. You. Do you hear Jay say the best? Oh, my God. Here's the thing if Bongers was on, he would. He would actually just start streaming the room a as you said that. You almost summoned him. <laughs> the Tommy Wiseau. Alright, let's 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 get a good overview of the battle. We have a bunch of, like, anti-fighter work happening over here. Over on this side, we have a, a fight between a ghost and a uh, an enforcer. Enforcer's definitely going down. There it goes. <clears throat> it just looks like um, Artifact is just mopping up right now. No. Yeah. I can throw it on after if you need, if I'm still up. I I might need it. I might need the room, alright? To match my feel- oh, Jesus. <laughs> I I really want to enjoy this faction. I'm, I'm sure that with some time and uh, good variation so that it's not just the bullet hell nonsense. It... It'll, it'll be a fancy thing. Summon him then. Tell him we have need of one of his skills. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Cart. The stream's already shit enough. <laughs> I don't. I don't need help getting it more shit. I'm pretty good at it already. Yeah, these these fighters are everywhere. Yep, there goes another Buffalo Mark too. You know, pirates are being very, very cautious, backing off a lot. Not yeah, the faction, the, the ships have a lot of really long range weapons, so they like being far away. I don't really? think they have anything that's really that close up. Well, I mean, for pirates, like, I mean, look, I mean, look at them. They have, like, Vulcans and, like, what, two rail guns? Oh, yeah, you meant the pirates. Yeah, I meant the pirates. I meant the pirates. Well, that, I would think, is because missile threat. Eh, I guess. They don't really have a lot of missiles, it seems, at least on the Colossi. Um, the Buffaloes obviously need to stay away because, you know, no shields. Do I you think see this... those energy balls? Wait, what now? The energy balls flying around. Do you see them, right? Y y yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I see them. <laughs> they, they, they really don't... The AI doesn't like them. <laughs> oh, really? Is that uh, it? I'll, I'll put it that way. The AI doesn't really know what's happening. <laughs> it does and... <laughs> what are this these? This is a bully fleet. <laughs> so, th so you're telling me that Artifact is hacking the AI. It is manipulating the numbers, so to say. In a way. <laughs> oh man, the, the shade ran out of CR and got killed that way. The shit. Oh my god. Bullied. Bullied to death. <laughs> this this is bullying. This is really harsh. I can barely watch, but I will. Aunt um, Prey, one of the carriers is a slow motion. Yeah, basically. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make it go faster. Oh god, that was a that was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake. When you go make it go fast, just all the balls get even faster. Yep. And that, uh, wave two. Forward. Here's wave two, and it's gonna get bullied really hard. This is wave two. It's just gonna get super bullied. What a fascinating uh, transition. Here we go over a nice little battle line. Just. How I, do I, I, I describe it? Say. Balls. How do I describe this? Basically, bullet hell, bullet hell, bullets everywhere. This is you being the good guys, and not not the good guys, the bad guys in a bullet hell game. <laughs> yeah, ome wa mo shinderu. I I feel like those little. Oh, balls is that is that is that that uh that that Venomax? The Venomax, you'll you'll know. Oh when no, you that's see that it. was just um, normal venom, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm the hunting Venomax for it. Is probably already dead. 
from CR. <laughs> CR. <laughs> How did he get that? How did he get it to do that? Like obviously over safety overrides, but extreme modification maybe. H have you ever used the Venom X? It um. I have not. It only has like sixty uh, peak performance time inherently. Jeez, that's insane. It and it has uh, time dilation or whatever it's called. So it wait, speeds what? Up time for wait, itself. what? Yeah. That's the Venom X. Oh my god! Oh, I accidentally pressed the escape button when I was putting down a glass. It, it has like a minute of peak performance, and it speeds up time so that it gets even less than a minute. Oh my god. It is a beautiful, beautiful little monster. Oh my god. It's more like a Frankenstein, a beautiful, a terrible abomination. God, this really is the bullet hell faction. Should I be playing you and Owen? You and least, Owen was her. Those ballistic bombers stack really well. They got good mm -hmm. DPS on their attacks. Yeah. I really like it because it's like a shotgun of missiles. It looks like. Are yeah, they missiles? I mean, I'm calling them ballistic bombers, but I'm pretty sure those are missiles. All right. They look fucking cool. They look nifty. Mm-hmm. I don't know how balanced they are because of just how fast they're going. You know, point defense basically doesn't matter. Yeah, but they don't seem to do a bunch. Okay, okay, never mind. That did a bit of damage. Yeah. Uh, are we watching the same stream, buddy? Yeah. I haven't been paying attention to the uh, to the bombers because I've just been completely well. They basically just did no damage to that. Uh... Okay, and then it died. Yeah, that hound took no damage from the bombers and then died to everything else. It, it died to something. We can't really make out individual. I, I can anymore. confirm that it was not the bombers, and the bombers did basically no damage to it. I didn't even see armor numbers come up. I, th I think the uh, missiles just like maybe don't do, they might do frag damage or something. And might really do frag hurt. damage. So anything with even a shred of armor just can ignore them. We can check. But actually now that I think about it we have to look up the specific weapon. Yeah, you you have to look up the code. In the codex? Yeah. yeah, no. Let's not. Let's not and say we did. Oh, hey guys, it's, it does frag damage, right? <laughs> hey guys, it does frag damage. <laughs> All right, wave three. Here we go. Wave three. They made, they made their wave two with decent time compared to the yeah. one. Yeah, this and one, definitely though, had a. Um, they still have basically all their ships. They have armored ships now. Mm hmm. Mm. And here we go tactical <laughs> melting microwave 1000 degree ship versus small tiny frigate. God, that's horrifying. Battleship. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Battleship versus battleship. I I don't have good. I don't know if I hope for the uh, artifact one, unfortunately. Yeah, the artifact has super high flux right now. Not a bunch of hard flux, but oh, attack beams, man. Backing up. It's the the beams want to work, but they just can't. Yeah, attack beams just. Look, here's the thing. Attack beams would work if their DPS was 76 and their flux per second were 75. That's such a bizarre thing to have. Yeah, but it would work. But why? Because they'd have positive... Because here's the thing. With the way attack beams work, like, you're dealing the same amount of damage... Uh, you're dealing the same amount of damage a flux are taking, and then take into account shield, like shield uh, flux damage. Like, it's just not... Yeah, but it's a, it's a uh, thousand range beam. I... Um, you gotta consider it more so as, like, what I tend to call flux dumping, where you're just taking your superior, uh, capacity and ability to... I don't really consider a weapon flux. viable if I, if it's only effective against a smaller ship. And honestly, if we, if we were looking here, it's not, this ship right here is not benefiting from tack beams. It's just Oh no, yeah, annihilated. this ship, unfortunately, it, it, this isn't really the right build for it, sadly. Yeah, and it's probably, it's getting punished for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're seeing now this... that these uh, these ships are pretty freaking durable against bullet hells. Yep. The, Unless um, it's a cross like... eye. Never mind. If I remember correctly, every one of those little balls does like 10 damage or something. That's it? Oh, and here's the TPC. Pretty low. Yeah, really low. 
Wait, was it regenning for a sec? Never mind. I'm wrong. No, it just died. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yep, there it goes. Killed by a Sabo. Death comes for us all. <laughs> Death. Rip. Press F. And the remnants of the artifact fleet gather here. I like the white flux effect. That's cool. And the green shields. You just like it when they color coat when they Yes, like I do. Color. I do like color coding, honestly. I think I'm... that taking that extra mile to give like the idea that you are making your own shield systems is cool, all right? Oh, here's the onslaught, you know, full burning in behind yeah, I'm him. Not... Dude, I'm actually just like 5 seconds behind you now. This is great. Oh, good. Like that's not even me joking anymore. I am that <laughs> close. That's pretty nice. Unfortunately, the Onslaught's AI seems to have broken, and it refuses to turn around. In fact, it's full burning again. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? The battle's over here. <laughs> what are you doing? I think that just cost them the fight. I think they're going to get past this wave now because... I don't know. It's hard to say because everything has so much armor. They can just... They can outlast so hard. I'm not so sure against this volume of ships. But, if Artifact but, can push the advantage, they can now win, because the Onslaught was a retard. Artifact has a CR advantage, I'm just saying. Yeah. Hedge they, your bets. They Hedge your bets, we're taking bets now. Here in the north, the two ghosts. On, uh, Ludic Path? Ludic Path every day. You, you walk that path and you just don't stop, because you feel so passionate. That's a reference. Oh, here's a Dominator overloaded. Ooh, this ghost has a really nice good damage. That central gun of it, of its, is really nice. Yeah, I think they're taking advantage now. But they have split up. Yeah, they're just they're just surrounding every ship and picking it apart piece by piece. They're doing a real good job of making everything cry. <laughs> Even me. <laughs> Man, I I'm gonna be honest, me. like this has been really interesting, like seeing a new basically a new faction to my eyes. But Yeah. Like I, I hope the artifact team <laughs> goes away. I think you're right. That onslaught burning away actually might have given him the yep. to him. And this ghost has been basically holding him the entire time because he can't. You know, the onslaught's been backing up. It's been confused by all the uh, all the balls. <laughs> They've entered the playpen and they can't get out. Basically, can't take the heat. Stay out of the kitchen. I always say. Well, the AI, the AI is not a fucking player with, you know, actual intelligence. God. The AI is pretty good. It just has no idea how to deal with anything that's kind of jank, you know? I if anything gets jank. unexpected and weird to... Like, any anything that doesn't fit conform to the way that vanilla itself is designed, the AI will struggle with. Mm. That's why a lot of the mods like Cynation and uh, Templar actually have small edits to the AI's actions. Oh, I didn't know that actually. Yeah, Cy, um, because if you didn't know, they're one of their big features that they have very reduced uh, base venting speed, but they have no. I, I I realized that when I did my Cy yeah. run. Yeah, and they have increased active venting speed. Like they yeah. active vent as fast, if not faster, than most other ships. Mm. But that means that the AI doesn't realize this because the base venting is so low. They think that it'll take so long to vent one another. Oh take yeah. Less time. So yeah. they so they have to actually script it to make them vent, like force them to it. Huh. Yeah. Intervals. Death by a thousand cunt cuts cunts. Okay. Okay. No. I'm gonna stop it there. Yeah. Watch. Watch the language, my dude. This is a this yeah. is a Christian this is a Christian stream. Oh, these uh these cruisers have a actual uh like armor punching weapon. Yeah, that. they do. Well, some of them do. Like, um. Which is good. This one right here does, but not this one. Just some of I, them. Do. I don't. 
I don't know if they're gonna make it through this wave, dude. I don't. I don't know how much. Yeah, these they lost. Zoomy balls are gonna be able to take on a bunch of capitals. <laughs> Who would win a highly motivated and completely fanatical fleet of trained space terrorists or some orange bolly boys? <laughs> a lot of orange bolly boys. A lot of two trillion orange bolly boys. One billion lions or the sun? <laughs> I mean, no, 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 it's two trillion lions. <laughs> right, right, they need, they need to attack in waves. <laughs> they need to attack in waves. I mean, that is a lot of lions. Delete this. <laughs> Thank you, Cart. I needed that one. All right, that high intensity laser on that uh, the amalgamation or amalgam. The AI does not know how to deal with high intensity lasers. They they expose themselves to it way too readily. Really? Mm. Yeah, you saw the the I cruiser was... just kind of yeah, kind of is. I think it's because they think it might be like a tack laser. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's I a think... Venomax. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the Venomax. The Venom... Where? Oh, God. Where is Beautiful it? Beautiful little guy. Is He's that it? Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. I see it. It's just trying to stay alive. Beautiful little boy. <laughs> when you take a bunch of drugs and then you have to focus on not dying. <laughs> oh, no. What are you doing? Beautiful little boy. What are you doing? <laughs> he speeds up time for no reason. <laughs> so he wiggles. <laughs> he's he's trying to dodge the balls, but the balls the balls you you're you've stepped in the playpen, Sonny. <laughs> oh no, he's it looks like it looks like artifact might like lose twice. they might lose a carrier. Uh oh. Oh completely the overloaded. The shark comes in. Come on. Come on, shark. Oh, the the, it did not need to do that. It like went out of its way to catch that reaper. Yeah. I got it, I got it, oh shit. <laughs> I got it, I got it, oh shit. Oh, not today. It looks like it's going to be able to back off and at least uh, support its fighters for a little bit longer. I think you were right with your initial, um, your initial, uh, Analysis. I don't think. What? What is the venom doing? It was pushing the hammerhead. That was amazing. It was like, get in there. <laughs> Sweet little pure boy. Got a nice little battle line. Very easy to see where all the action's going. We see act. We're seeing battle all across the line. Shots are being traded well, back and forth. That shark. That shark. You they, know, they I've never been able to use the shark effectively. Because they're singling out the caps and EMPing them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, those um, cruisers, I think, have a ship system where it's like the Omen's EMP effect, but they hit it on the enemy ship. Hmm. Okay. So they're just turning off capitals. <laughs> you it's can like see an on, on, on slot, off slot. The, the big triangle capital, you know that one. Oh, it just hit the, um, whatever that... The Barbarian, that's right. Yeah, the Barbarian. Yeah, that yeah, Barbarian is just... Yeah, it's dead in the water. They really do just turn things off. This... This it, is a good fleet for prolonging mm -hmm. fights. Give me a sec. You know what? Maybe I can increase the quality. Give me a sec. Oh, our Venomex got destroyed. Oh, rip the boy. Rip the little boy. Right, I'm going to increase the quality. I'm going to try to increase the quality a little bit more. Try to Hopefully. edge it out. If if it just breaks again, just tell me. As long as you're recording, um, this, the final recording sh should be source quality. Okay, good. All right. We're back to it. The board... <laughs> I really want to use the boar. I said it before, but I really just like the boar, and I wish I the, knew how the, to use it. See how it has two annihilators? That's basically how you use the boar. Really? Oh. 
They're, they're meme ships. They do a very good job at something that they, no other ship should ever do. <laughs> oh, oh boy. This thing is, what, what is causing so much damage? What is causing so much damage to the Renegade? It's that ship system, I think. The, like, ball of... It does damage hull out. damage, too? I guess so. It probably shouldn't. <laughs> it probably... Because that's balanced. The that's why we're in the underdogs, everybody. Like that. That's why I was given the underdogs. I, I, I like the idea of a ship system that does that, basically, for EMP effect. I but guess. But it's doing hull damage. That's just free hull damage, yeah. Okay, dude. yeah, yeah, that's hull damage. That's hull damage. That's broken. <laughs> Uh oh. Delete this. <laughs> That's what they're doing to that poor venture. <laughs> poor venture. This poor is little ven game. venture entered the ball pit. Yeah, that's that's not on. That's not on. That kind of DPS, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, oh. here here's the uh, here's a hammerhead getting destroyed. <laughs> Yeah, I think they might pull through. They might. They're ha they have trouble with the heavier ships, but if they can yeah, get but... that ship system off on undamaged hull, it's utterly annihilating. Like, look at this. That poor boar. Oh, the boar! I love the boar. <laughs> just sweet baby, just babe, sweet summer child. The dragon's getting lit up right now, but it's not really oh. taking much damage, it looks like. Dragons don't like taking damage. Yeah, they, they really uh, don't. They refuse to. <laughs> They're too prideful. Yeah. Take damage. They, they, they see your weapons, and they choose not to. <laughs> oh man, it looks like Father OJ was in a... That's OJ. He, he streams weeb games. He, does, he, he doesn't seems... seem he need, he knows what's going on. What's going on, OJ, is that, that we're doing a Star Sector viewers. tournament. What now? He seems shocked there's 25 viewers. Is this a lot or a little? Um, for Star Sector, yeah. I mean, we've... Here's the thing. We get, like... I mean, I've seen, like, 200 people, three... Like, 250 when we do, like, a Royal Rumble. It may, if you stream V, um, you might have seen our threads get, you know, pruned and deleted and banned. Um, if you go on 8chan V, you might have seen our threads get stickied instead. I don't use any chan. Alright. Aren't you fucking normie? Aren't you life. fucking normie? <laughs> I think slash B is the shadow of what it once was. It really is. It really is. It's it's just people that wish that it used to that it's the same slash B it used to be. Yep. So here's the uh, poor, our poor little boy is getting bullied to death. I like the um the guns on those cruisers though, like the little white orb. Uh, yeah, usually, yeah, I the little white orb is a little great. more oomph. But yeah. I like that they, they start slow and accelerate. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, and a ghost class just went down. It looks like they do not like the annihilators. No, yeah, the um it was the annihilators and the TPCs. The onslaught just took them out. Yeah, jeez. That was, I think, one of the first cruiser deaths that they've had. Also, what's the CR at? You're the only one who can read it. Um... They're, they're reporting malfunctions. Yeah. Let this me see. That, that'd be the CR carriers, board. the Omres. Um, all the dragons down, it got zap all. Yeah, they're at 18. While the Ooh. ghosts are at, yeah, 19. Yeah, everything's, everything's around 20-ish. So, uh, Artifact needs to start you know, killing stuff. And there's still that, uh, the bit, you know, the Infernus right here. Menacing, menacing, menacing. Yeah, they're at 20 CR, so they're starting to get malfunctions and stuff. Like, you can see over here, like, he lost his engine for a bit. Yep. They're starting to lose stuff. Yep, there's another engine failure. Alright. Yeah, if they hit zero, that's it. They're done. Yeah. What about, uh, uh, yep, and pirates are still at, like, 70 CR. Yeah, they start Oh, with, uh, except for this guy. This eagle is just flying with zero CR. Oh, 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 that's because, um, 
Hmm? CR only degrades if they have equal or superior forces. The capitals are probably barely even losing CR at all because yeah. there's no capitals on the artifact fleet right now. Mm. They need two or more cruisers or something like that within their sensor range to actually degrade CR. Uh, and they're okay. staying far away, so mm -hmm, that might mm -hmm. not be happening. Goodness, there's that long range TPC fire. Everything's too far away. Mm -hmm. Nothing yep. wants to fight. So the small ships are getting CR'd. Mm -hmm. Enter the ball pit, Sender. Enter the ball pit. Yeah, they overload it and then they they forget to finish it off. Perfect. Thanks, Star Sector AI. Well, I don't know if they can do anything to finish it off. They might have just fired, like, a last burst of the balls at I'm it. sorry. I mean, I've been playing this game for so long. I'm so vindictive against the AI. My, my book of grudges has filled up. All right. Hey man, I'm like the AI boy, all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll be, I'll be the judge of whether the AI fucked up or not, okay? <laughs> oh, and the barbarian the, you know, somehow you know, got behind. The AI fucking up is the AI a actively ignoring the high intensity laser with the shields. <laughs> like just. Oh kind of... no! Oh, there goes another ghost by because the uh, the onslaught bursted in. Oh man, here's oh, another ghost it. that's probably gonna go down. Oh, it didn't ram it. It just went in. It just went in. I was hoping for a ring. Oh, it's... Oh. That onslaught has flamers. I'm yep, right plasma flamers. I've oh. never seen an onslaught with flamers. I never knew I wanted this in my life, but now I do. <laughs> it is my mission. It is now your mission. Yep, there goes another ghost killed by T uh, TPCs. What the fuck? I love onslaughts. <laughs> How can you hate an onslaught? It's, an, it's oh. a glorious beast. Tart, you jerk. You gave you put the TPCs in alternating so the AI fires it better. <laughs> That's great. Ah, oh, here's another. Here's another little carrier. Yeah, zero CR. It's probably just going to explode any second. <laughs> yep, there we go. Oof. Oof. I, I think we I think we can assume that this is the wave. As I, I like earlier. I like how the Infernus has done being the most intimidating thing in the field. It has done nothing. It's just sat here. That's all it it's has. done this entire round. It's just sitting here. That's all it does. It needs to get a job. Yep. Yep. This is over. The onslaught's just gonna kill two two birds with one stone. There's the plasma flamer, and there it goes. We'll be heading back there in a sec. Yep, there's another ghost over here that got disabled while we're looking away. Let's... Barbarian and a ghost are, you know, pinning against each other, and uh, there's the onslaught and the execution. Is that a... that's a Mjolnir. Nice. And there's another ghost destroyed. This entire flank is just gone. Is there anything up here? There is a ghost up here that took out the Renegade, I think. Or the Renegade died a long time ago. For a second I thought the game was paused, nothing was moving. Alright. The Stalker. Alright, alright, alright. Remember, you can hold shift to fast forward. Yeah, I can. There's the, Ven there's the Venom X, our little, our little boy, doing good. Oh, they have another Venom X? They have another Venom X. And he's still well, alive somehow. It has CR. It has fifty-two percent CR. What is this? Oh my god! And it got it. And it got an ombre. Oh my goodness. Our little boy. Our little boy. Did you do it. <laughs> Here's the barbarian still tangling with the ghost. I think it's gonna lose this fight too, but oh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Here comes the MVP of the match. It's just going it's back and way. forth and wiggling. I'm fast forwarding. It's wiggling. Look. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the barbarian. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> it's just wiggling. <laughs> Come on, Venom. You can do it. I believe in you. You can do it. I believe in you. Wiggle harder. <laughs> and that's it. 
vanquished. Right. It's over. <laughs> the artifacting is over. Have I dropped any frames since I upped the... Uh, you had like tiny spots of lag, but it wasn't really a big deal. Alright, that's fine, as long as it's a All little right. bit better. Next up, we got Metalson Industries, and then we'll be almost halfway there. Oh my god. And we'll be halfway there, right? Oh, we got the Chunky Boys. Yep. Chunky Boys. Here we go. You know, I do like Metalson and their design theory. Like, just big, tough ships. Big, tough ships. Basically vanilla. You know, Molar's Blaster, I've THI never seen this. Ways. What now? They're similar to THI in a few ways. Oh, okay. Gong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's Enforcer. Ting Dong is more DACA, though, whereas Metalson is actually kind of minimizing it. Really? Is this... Yeah, they have a... less big guns. Okay. Is, is that a... is that a, uh, an error I see? An artist... an artist's error? Hmm. How is this connected to the ship in any way? <laughs> You're seeing this, right? Uh, what am I seeing? This this light oh, Mauser. Oh yeah, I pointed that out. I pointed that out last week during the. All right, all right. <laughs> he's he's working on fixing that. All right. I don't actually know anything about their uh, their fighter uh, complement. So uh, ooh, heavy CMG. Ooh, okay. All right. All right. I'm actually kind of excited to see these guys. Wait, what? Salamanders in the back? Whoa, that's actually a really cool idea. All right, and here, of course, we get the Mega Brute Pop Pop Cruiser, Bullet Hose, Brutester. Oh my goodness, these names! Su Brutes. Heavy Super Annoying Frigate. Oh God, Salamanders Dual Flak. Why? Why? It's time to stop. <laughs> it's time to stop. Oh no. Oh no, not the Actel. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it has 60 speed. Oh, I don't even care. <laughs> oh, and he didn't even use all his ordnance points. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. We got some line ships right here. Blazetta. Uh, I hate to interrupt this, but we have been, like, going for a while and have barely gotten any fleets. We yeah, okay. We probably won't how much time we stare at these ships. Hey, man. Hey man, it's Star Sector. We stare at ships. It's what we do. I I agree, but at the same time, yo. All right. All right. It is on Why pause. Why do these ships not have full ordnance points? Hmm. Mm. Maybe you just didn't have the uh, the money for it. All right. I mean, let's speed up to the actual combat. Looks like they're. Uh... Well, I guess. I guess you're right there. Hurry up. What do you think I'm doing? So we see a lot of skirmishing, a lot of fighting here. Oh no! Oh, there's a hound just got pulled in. Alright, here we go, here we go. Some actual fighting here. Three! Three enforcers versus this system cruiser, and it is not very well. If I was these enforcers, I would have launched my hammers. Also, post hammers in chat. They're not enforcers. Are these non enforcers? The Medicine ones, or are you talking about the pirates? I'm talking about the pirates. Oh, right. Ooh, there's a Gilmer class already gone. Wow, okay. Medicine is already taking heavy losses. They've lost two frigates already. And they've take, taken a lot of damage. What happened to this fleet last time, or have they always been in underdogs? Um, this is the first time they've been featured in a tournament. Uh, right. while most of the Underdog League has never been featured in a tournament. Oh, fire. no. It's oh. kind of part of the intention of it is to allow using things that are, like, less right. balanced, less used, or just really new. All right. Here's the capital. It's trying its its hardest right now. It has two Hespestus uh, assault cannons. Oh! Oh! What was that? Just fucking spin the Enforcer around. Oh, and there goes an enforcer. Gotta Beautiful. make him da dance, dude. Gotta dance, dude. I don't know why the AI isn't trying. Okay, now it's trying to defend itself. All right, it's going pretty good. This actually, this uh, this fleet is actually making 
making this round go pretty fast. Yeah, it's, I mean, to be fair, anything's faster than the Artifact Fleet. <laughs> no no offenses in Russia. I mean, I'm not trying to insult the guy, but yeah, that fleet was not kitted out for uh, long, short battles. It's fine. It's fine. We're seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of fine up here. I don't know what's wrong with the AI of the, of the cruisers, but they just don't seem to have the best shield coverage, at the very least. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's just something with the, uh, with the pirate fleet that's making their, their AI kind of mess up a little bit. Hard to say. I mean, like, look at, look at, look at this cruiser over here. It's taking almost half of its health already. I mean, the battles are a lot bigger than they were in the first. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Everyone has more ships. The pirates have a lot of a lot of ships. They really um, do. Which is part of why also these fights are taking so long, because there's just so much to get through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is that? Oh, that's Yachtel. All right. Goodness, even their heavy capital ship has taken damage. Yep. Well, I mean, with the last with the last few fleets, like they we've had Ooh, damage. Ooh, good taken. snipe from that to so that buffalo. Mm -hmm, mm hmm I love seeing that. We're seeing a lot of good uh, a lot of good shots from Metalson, just not a lot of durability, it seems. Yeah. Let's speed and like up. Dale said, the re everyone everything's taking damage because of all the sabos. I guess. Stuff's, tape, stuff's dropping their shields to avoid overloads. Yeah. You know, something I've noticed that um, with all the salamanders going on, um, they're really di they are really doing good on disabling the engines and picking apart pirates. Yeah. Salamanders are really an underappreciated weapon, I think. Yeah, they really are. I mean, I don't, I definitely don't use them, but I see the, I always hate fighting them. I love oh. using them, but like, there's Cavos, so many. We have some ships so on Metalson that are that already. Shoes. We have some CR uh, complaints already. Yeah, sixty-three well, percent. They're they're complaining. They're mentioning that the the, the um, peak performance time is down. They haven't actually lost CR yet, but they're starting to. I've seen. All right, let's let's look. Let's look at this uh, not wolf here. Oh, it just got restored. All right. Yeah, every wave they go back up to seventy percent. Oh, really? Every time? All right. Yeah. The only thing they don't recharge is peak performance time. Okay. Yeah, generally I just rely on silent, um, on the silent, uh, what's it? Silent Navy. God dang it, I forgot the name. Silent Armada's, uh, Ghost Hawk missile. Kind of yeah. big missile. Really good, though. I really love them. They, they got a bit controversial in the Discord chat because they were so obnoxiously large. Yeah, they, yeah they're, they're pretty big. I don't use the ships. I just use the missiles. It was, it was a mini mod faction um, meant for an experiment, basically. See how yeah. it goes, making a wet fleet style. Yeah, trying um, to make a fleet without shields. Yeah, which didn't work out. Yeah. You'd need to edit the AI so hard. Well, not just that, you'd have to have some kind of replacement for the shield, otherwise you're just making shitty ships. Yeah. Here we go, the destroyers are in, and that's another dead Venom. You know... Metalson had a pretty bad start with losing a few frigates, but it seems that they've recovered their style, at least against these pirates. They have less Sabos in this fleet. Alright. That is the main key, I think. Sabos are just slapping people left and right, and yeah. as they tend to do. As they tend to do. Sabos, designed to destroy shields. In mass, they can destroy anything. That tiger. You know, I've never really properly used a tiger, and everyone always says it's so amazing, but... Jeez. Oh. This... Stenuev? It's just a wolf class. I'm just gonna call it a wolf. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly can never remember the... These, like, vanilla refit ships. I'm just gonna I... call them what they it's... were based off of. Eh. <sighs> 
We're seeing a lot of skirmishing right now. Um, like it's not the um, I don't I don't remember what the what the heck the uh, THI refit enforcer is. It's just the refit enforcer. Let's speed it up a little bit. Just get get it off this skirmishing. Try to speed careful up with speeding up too much because um, uh, depend if your frame rate drops as a result, you can uh, projectiles will like shoot fly through targets and stuff. Oh okay, got it. So while battle is going on, I won't. Okay. Yeah. It has its place. A... It's definitely a good thing to have. But... <laughs> Nani, I shot through him. <laughs> Plus, I believe it messes with beam DPS. If you don't have a good enough frame rate, you need, uh, according to uh, Tardiflet, you need about 120 frames per second on All right. your screen in order to actually pull it off without causing issues. All right. Like in my in my what now? You you need about 120 FPS in order to not have issues with fast forwarding. Oh good, I'm running 144. Oh, then you're fine, fast yeah. forward away. It's not gonna be an issue. <laughs> Thank you. you. You'd be the first one though, I think, that uh, that's streamed this without having that issue. Yep, and good now idea. wave three, so this is the Ludic Path. This is Ludic path. real trial by fire. So uh, I don't think anyone will mind me fast forwarding right now. Yeah, while the fleets move up basically. and uh, see more skirmishing, let's move in on that action. Yep, we see the system cruiser. They may not have all their uh, CR, their uh, you know their. You know, space used, but they still seem to be mildly effective. Although that Just overload mildly? is. Hmm. Just mildly. I mean, like it just got overloaded, so I think that works for my case. Yeah, true enough. I haven't been able to see like anything you've been talking about because I, I had to refresh at some point, and I was not five seconds behind you. It was more like fifty. It's yeah. I gotta refresh constantly to stay up to date because. This um, site decides to disconnect me if I don't interact. That's weird. Maybe I shouldn't host next Tuesday. Oh, That's man, really weird. That's have, not like, really a, a problem we've ever heard of, actually. I think it just I might mean, that, be my stream. That, that could just be the way that we do the underdog streams, is try and find a different person doing every week. Yeah. I think honestly, I just need to get better quality before, um, you know, get more upload before I even try anything. Uh, we have a we have assistance cruiser right here, in dire straits, being pressed on by heavy Ludic path forces. That Dominator wants blood, and it's getting it honestly. Oh, there's a hammer barrage. Oh, I think it's over. There's another hammer. Oh. Oh, but it just got sn that kite just got sniped. Retribution. Beautiful. They are using that damper field effectively. You gotta. You really gotta. Is it just me or are those actuals doing nothing? Yeah, probably just. I think they're kinetic. So they're not going to do a whole lot against Hull or armor? I guess. Uh, I think they're doing damage, it's just that numbers aren't popping up. Well, yeah, you, you got to log on to stuff. Okay. Which isn't really recommended. It, it just makes the screen even more noisy. Yeah. Noisy. Visual. Visual noise. Oh, the thunders just came in, and I think... Yeah, I think this one... this Another system cruiser is dead. Or... Is he? Is he? I think he's good. Unless that thunder comes back. Yeah, it's good. Right. It's good. It recovered. We got so I just got from uh, Tardiflet that the um, you need to unlock the frame rate in the game in order to actually not cause issues. Oh, so I cannot. Never mind, man. Yeah, just just don't do it. I mean, as usual, use it when there's not fighting happening. Yeah, and there it goes. Rip. Yeah. As I said, it seems that the Ludic Path seems to be a pretty hard bar. 
pretty high bar to pass. Yeah, so you must be this to... effective to to you know go on this ride. I mean, so far we've seen a lot of really slow fleets. To be fair, so I think mm -hmm. a lot of pack path is just bullying them, but with the, their speed advantage. Yeah, and their amount and their strike capability with hammers. Yeah. They we're can't just... fight back against Lutic Path. They can just retreat constantly. Uh huh. And we're seeing a lot of suppression of the Lutic Path. This really well-made fleet tart. I would have made even more hammers, but that's me. That's just you. That's just me. And here's the battle cruiser or the battleship just running around. I'm not even sure what it's been doing this entire fight because we've been focusing on the right. It's but, probably uh, been killing stuff. Yeah, probably. And I think I think this is the next victim. Oh, but it's too narrow to hit like both shots. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is its next victim. What was that? The thunders just came in out of nowhere and stole the kill. Beautiful. That was amazing. Oh, and there's a full wave of ranas just. Unloading hammers. Oh, the Grand Cursors cannot stand up to that. Who is even left? Oh man, it's just, it's just the these four ships in the corner. Well, five ships. Oh, is there one over here? Six. One of the turrets. One of the platforms is still alive, and there it goes. Oh, Oof. four more ships. A platform, never mind, three more ships, a platform, a uh, Rastum, and one of the cruisers. And the cruiser's being bullied really heavily by the uh, Ludic Path onslaught. Oh, here comes a piranha. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, my camera's freaking out. Uh oh. Don't freak Don't out. Don't worry yet. about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah, I think. Here it goes. Just a constant barrage. Yep, overloaded, and it's gone. Wave three. Vanquished on wave three. All right, so that's two points for Medelson. Yep. Next up, we have, uh, unfortunately, Stormy with, the, with Nomads did not submit a first wave weak fleet, so we don't have that. We mm -hmm. have Foundation of Borkin, if that got in. I think Naya might have had some issues. So you'll have to check. I can't see it right now. I'm trying to find. So we we we're doing nomads. Nomads, did they? Uh, there there wasn't a fleet last week, unless that's changed for this week. Okay. I wouldn't see why it would. I'm trying to find them, but it would um, only be one over. Yeah, like next nothing. I I don't have anything here. It looks so to be uh. It looks to be um. What's the word? Aprolite. No, that's Foundation of Borkin. It's same developer as Everlight, really? but it's... Really? Yep. Okay. This kills the middle faction. Yeah. All right. Federation of Borkin. Bork, Bork, Bork. Is it actually supposed to be Sweden? No, it's not Sweden. It's not oh, Sweden. Okay. Anyways, let's just investigate the ships in the game. They're all and... phase ships. They all have very high damaging weapons. Really? And beam everything. Oh, all right. So here's the pirate fleet with its absurd amount of phase ships, with extreme let's, modification. Let's speed let's go. It up. Let's go. God, it's phase time, boys. They seem to have tentacles or something when they go into phase. Yep. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, they do. All right. Welcome to the hentai fleet. <laughs> oh no. All right. All right, let's take a look at these ships. They seem to have a lot of... Are those missiles? Are those, like... Oh, my goodness. That's a cool missile barrage. Very stylish. Yep. Oh, they, they, stylish these noises. Action. Welcome to... <laughs> Did somebody wake up Cthulhu? Oh, I wish I could hear the noises, because I do... I am a fan of the... Oh, can you not hear them? Oh, right, because oh, no, you, you muted it muted. because you don't want to hear yourself, right? Yeah. My bad. I should have and put I, the I dots the together missiles. earlier. We are seeing a good amount of damage, but I mean, I guess that's expected. 
from phase ships. They're just going to take... Oh, my goodness. This cruiser also, almost got taken out. Ouch. Right away. Something also worth mentioning is that all these ships have a, like, almost armor regenerating ability. What they'll do is they'll regenerate lost armor on um, shredded parts of the hull, but the they'll sap the armor off of everywhere else, so okay. they kind of neutralize it. Mm. And there it goes. There's a destroyer already gone. That's a huge loss early on, considering how few ships they had. Well, they have. Oh, man, they're just getting hurt. Yeah, it's a, it's a phase fleet, unfortunately, which means that they either win or they lose, and... There's no middle ground. Yep. It's really all or nothing with phase ships. And they'll constantly just take little bits of damage. They are doing good damage, though, no matter what. They are... Get, they, they may be taking a lot, but they're giving it out as well. Especially against the unshielded uh, portions of the pirate fleet. Yeah. Oh, sad. It is just unfortunate in. for the faction that this is still an endurance mm -hmm. uh, scenario. Because no matter how you cut it, phase ships are not built for endurance. Yeah. You know, I was gonna like uh, death, death and wave too. Hmm. Not so sure about that card, but we'll see. I mean, anything's possible. Anything is possible. I've seen a they lot. still have their main DPS ships alive. They only lost like one or two of the like destroyers. Yeah, and they're relatively undamaged. And I can think of a single faction here that hasn't taken casualties wave one, to be honest. Really? I don't Maybe think... IFED, just because they were all capitals. Yeah, IFED, and I believe NGO didn't take any. No, damage. NGO lost a lost a, a Corvette or two. Did they? I don't remember yeah. seeing that on the kill feed, but okay. Because I remember three of them dying at the last wave. And, and they only just... had three. That may, that may be true, but uh, one, one of us is true, right? That's why you got... That's why we record this, because then we can look back and see. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if you've been around chat lately, but we have const we do constantly go back and look at the footage. I haven't. I'm going to yeah. be honest, I'm in like 13 different discords, and I'm pretty busy otherwise. In sure. fact, I don't even stream all that often. I should stream more. I should get back into Armor Core. I'm not sure if you're into Armor Core, but uh, Armor Core 6. Oh boy, it's I coming. I don't play weeb games. I'm sorry. It's not a weeb game! It's as uh, much as a weeb game as Dark Souls is a weeb game. Which is a weeb game. It's not a weeb game. We're seeing some good damage, though. Maybe phase yep. ships, we can't count them out. This Man, just a, a kill feed. Oh, that's... That's terrifying. And they're just cutting them apart now. Yep, there we go. Wave two. Where are they? Okay. And now they contact has been established with the second wave. Yeah, and these two the ships are mind. way out of position. <laughs> They're way out of position. Something about this website, man. Every once in a while, every like 20 seconds maybe, the screen will freeze up for about one second. Hmm. And I just get fur pushed further behind in the stream. That's probably just my upload. Give me a sec. That's probably just me screwing up the stream. Give me a that sec. That suck if it's lagging that hard for everyone. I mean, I guess it sucks less for the viewers. It just, it, it hurts me. All right. Because it means I have no idea what's going on. Like, I just now got to the current wave. Okay. Well, I had, I paused, so. Doesn't matter. It's fine. All right. I'm seeing a lot of shots here. Remember, this is the meat grinder frigate wave, so we're... Yeah, I don't know if they're going to make it. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. Ugh. Cthonian's down. Oh wow, these are all named after like Cthulhu mythos, aren't they? Yup, it's a Cthulhu fleet. Oh my God. Not hentai, it's Cthulhu. Not hentai. Absolutely not weeb. Big disclaimer. <laughs> Big disclaimer. Big problem. Big tentacles, big problem. Goodness. Wait, where's where's my Venomax? Where's my little boy? <laughs> where's our little boy? Where's our little I'm, boy? I That's think a Venom. On this wave. It's pro is it oh, is it in the fourth wave? God dang it. And we know there's one in the fourth wave, but I, I feel like I saw one in this wave. Oh whatever. He's probably already dead. Oh no, it's just normal venom. Yeah, they seem to be doing pretty well in this wave. They're just wiping out small... They seem to work really well against smaller ships. Just probably because of the volley of fire they have in those main volley, volley missiles. That... What? What's happening? I saw a strange bug. Not sure. Like... Yeah. Like a, just, like the a shield. Needle? The shield. Oh, does this thing have like a weapon that generates a shield? It, you see this? It has modules that has shields on them. Got it. Its two arms are both modules. Huh, okay. Yep. Could have fooled me. There we go. Alright. Three more pirate ships up here, it looks like. Yeah, they might make. They're they're gonna make it through this way fine. Yeah. They're mopping up. They just took a lot of losses, and it was a bit intimidating. See this little duel here. You know the gunboats and the torch class is interesting. It's basically it's got no shields, just armor, and just a bunch of weapons. It is the most piratey pirate ship. It really is. Yar har fiddly d. The shark is a close second, if you ever. All read. right, wave three. If you've ever sincerely used a shark the way you're supposed to, I have, is, and I can never make it work. Broadside flamer. Really? That's that's the way. That is the way. The truth, the way. Yep. That is the true way. Oh! Oh, that just dodged an entire hammer barrage. That was amazing. Nice. You always love to see that happen. I always do love to see that happen. It gives me hope in this fight. Now let's hope. hope, hope for a little, hope to see our little boy. Oh, I don't think we're gonna see our little boy again. <laughs> Not even once in this entire, in the entire round, rest of the rounds we have. Oh. Yeah, the Mark, uh, the Mark II Colossi are not faring well. Just not enough uh, flux. Just don't have enough flux. Oh man, but they're so speedy. Lodic Path is just so speedy. They can just outrun the missiles if they want to. Oh, and there goes another one. I don't even know what killed that one. Hard to say, because I AI's being see. smart. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. There's another death at the hands of this fearsome killer, the uh, Onslaught Ludic Path. Man, spoilers. The Onslaught's, like, miles away from anything on my screen. Yeah, sorry. Oh, well. Onslaught has a really nice kill so far, like, in all the waves we've seen. It's been... It feels like a wall, you know? At this point, it feels like a wall that it's hard to pass over. It basically does function as a wall. Not like the ship wall. I mean, like a metaphor, as a metaphor. Yeah, of course. I, of course, it's like, a, strategically, it's a wall. It, it holds the line very well. It really does. And God forbid you duel it. Oh, I finally saw the onslaught of the kill. Yep. Just yeah, the fleet's super spread out right now. It's being picked apart and cut apart strategically by uh, by the LUDs. Oh, 
Let me see, where is a good spot? Right here. Right here's a good spot to watch. Right where I was watching anyways. Yep, there goes another one. Oh! That's just a module destroyed! Oh! Mm. Oh, and there there goes the actual thing. Yep. Rip that ship. Without its shield arms, it's not as effective of a ship. Like, yep. It's weird compared to the rest of the ships. Mm -hmm. It's not as le overly lethal, but it actually has defenses. I think this is like the last ship they have. Nope. They have more, apparently. There they are. There he is. Last big ship they have. The SRD Corn. Survive, Corn Boy. Yeah, I hope being, whatever's happening is interesting. It's just bu it's just being bullied by three uh by three um frigates, that's it. By an enforcer, a kite, and an enforcer... uh oh wait no. Yeah, Two by of a, those aren't frigates. In a, a brawler, a kite, and an enforcer, my bad. One of those is not a frigate. Are you well I mean the enforcer isn't, but So I got something wrong, what about it? And there we go, wave three vanquish on wave three. Alright. So they get two That's points. Two points for Barkin. Yep. Alright. So next up, uh, Knights Templar. Knights Templar. Deus vote. So this is going to be the point where if if any computer lags, it's going to be the Knight Templar. It really is. They, they sure do love using up your computer. <laughs> I've never really had a problem with them. So we got a, um, uh, we got a Chevalier. So that's going to be fun. Jesus Christ, 25 deployment points. All right, there's the value. Nice big chunk. Let's hope Star... Uh, I always liked Star's fleets. All right, on pause. Let's get in there. If you don't know about Templar, they have super elite ships, but a few of them, and they take... They're really resource intensive. Oh, God, they're using that missile. God damn it. And yeah, there's a Jesuit just running away, doing its thing. Templars, as always, uh, breaking up from each other, just fighting individually. It's what they do. Oh, oh, Chevlar fires me guns. Cavalier, thank you. Cavalier, is it the Cavalier? It's a Cavalier, yeah. No, it's Sheva. It's Chevalier. Cavalier is oh. C A V A L E R. I should know. I played one in my last Pathfinder campaign. All right, it's one of them. One Chevalier of is one French. Of right. Chevalier is French for horse or horseman. Which, considering that it's supposed to be a lance, you know. Yeah, that is the idea. That is the idea, and ah. God, that thing is just microwaving everything. And um, there's that burst. Kind of weird they did that, but... This is Templars with all of all of their weird Tem weapons. Templars AI is coded to pre-win burst at a lot of intervals where that player would probably think it's a bad idea. Yeah. Like, it's an intentional design feature. Uh, Dark Revenant was talking about week. Yeah. I've heard some of I've heard some of it, like it's supposed to be a like last ditch thing that like hey maybe I can save my ship maybe it'll work out right. Well, right. They, they're supposed to use the pro one burst as a way to give the player an, an opportunity to actually do damage to the ship because it drives up their flux and turns the shield off for a second. I've, I mean the way I fight, the way I fight Templars, I've never had a huge problem with them. Oh yeah, if you build four Templars and you know what you're doing, they're not that big of an issue. I mean, like, when I first started playing, they were fucking oh. terrible and I avoided them at all costs. Oh yeah, but, they're like, terrifying. Yeah, they were terrifying when they came out. I remember when they came out. They were terrifying. 
it was impossible. But like, you eventually got you eventually got your own Templar ship, and it was fine. Yeah, as soon as you get that first Jesuit, the whole world opens up. It really does. It's just probably my favorite Templar ship. I mean, look at it. Yeah. It's so springy and great. I'm glad you agree with me because everyone else in the Discord's like, oh no. The the Paladin's the one to go. That's the player ship. Nah, I hate the Paladin. I think it's boring. It's it's a brick. It I do forward. actually like the. I like all the ships besides the Bulwark. I don't well, like the, the Bulwark. The Paladin's the one other ship I will actually fly. Mm. But the Martyr is just it's just a beam ship. And the Martyr is 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 a meme ship. It's not a beam ship. It's a meme ship. The the Chevalier is a big Martyr, but without the meme. <laughs> but without the meme. The it's, Archbishop is basically a pseudo station, and you're not supposed to fly that yourself. Because yeah. it moves at like 15 SU. <laughs> uh, so it's yeah. the Jesuit and the Paladin. Those are the ones that you fly. Yeah, I don't know. I like the Cavalier. Or the Chevalier. Whatever. Whatever it is. Wave 2. That well, was quick. One of us is correct, but it doesn't matter who, because we're going to end up saying both of them. We're going to end up saying both. <laughs> so yeah. The fucking Jesuit charging off the battle with no support. It's fine. This is just what it does. Yep, that's the Jesuit's job is just annoy and commit suicide without actually dying. <laughs> it's basically what it does. You know, I would have honestly liked to see like thirty mur like um, martyrs and just see them just blow open this entire wave. <laughs> to be fair, we'll probably see the Chevalier do that at one point. Oh, that, that Jesuit is not in a good spot, and it's gone. Poor guy. You hate to see it happen. Really do. But once, one of the crippling issues with Templar is that once their uh, armor's gone, because their shield only blocks a percentile of damage, yeah, then it's inevitable. Yeah. Once the armor's popped, they're gone. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of time. Unless you're fu formation fighting, and that's just not how Templar AI works. Yeah, the, they, uh, the Templar AI specifically does not form formations. They have so many ships with a, like, the Jesuit actively opposes being near its allies. Yeah. Maglory. There goes the name Venom. And all that. God. But it, it doesn't really even matter because the Templar ships are so good. I don't no. even know how Dark Raven came up with all these good ideas for mods, because I remember back in the day, he had, he had so many good ones. Dude, it's a fucking monster, I swear. Dude is a monster. Gonna be honest, he's one of the guys I look out, when I look at a game's like mod list, I look out for names, and I consistently see a few, like Okeem, who uh, made Ironclads, and I know it's controversial, I know people don't like Ironclads, but I adore it. Um... I see Trashman a lot. I see Trashman everywhere, man. Dude's prolific as fuck in, uh, in, uh, Free Space. And Wave 3 already just annihilated Wave 2. We've... Yep. Jeez. So two religious fanatics coming up against each other. The Crusade versus the Jihad. The... Uh, the tech fetishists and the tech abolitionists. <laughs> I'm not even sure if, like, Templars are tech fetishists. They're more like alien tech fetishists. Well, that's... Is it that's even alien tech? tech? I don't it's just know. tech, but with extra steps. I guess. Abolitionists. They're dueling the, a bulwark and... Oh, dodging... Oh, almost dodging the Reapers. Pyrwin Shield took most of that. Bulwark and the Chevalier trying to duel and hold the line in the center. We see a nice line over here of individual fighters. Here when bursts happening everywhere. If there's one thing Templar does really well, it's erasing fighters from this plane of existence. If those... That PD they have is bullshit. No, not even that free one burst. It's just... Yeah, Turn off. that Go too. Away, fighters, bye. Oh, goodbye, fighters. I'm sorry you had to die. <laughs> Just 
bursting oh, everywhere. The bulwark using its uh, ship system to eat a reaper. Oh, jeez. Let's like hope no that uh, this bulwark gets its shield back soon. And it, it, it let it go the second it had it. Nice. Here comes two reapers. Let's go. Oh, the reaper hit it, but it didn't go off. What? Nope. Out of range. Rip. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what's going to happen. You never do with Templar, do you? We really never do. Oh, the, the Chevalier has taken a bunch of damage. They have Templar surrounded. They can fire in every direction now. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what's going to happen in this fight. Is he going to get through? He got through and the Dominator's down. That makes it that much easier for this. Unfortunately, this ball, this Crusader is basically trapped behind enemy lines. If it can get back to its buddies, it stands a chance, but otherwise... <gasps> the Chevalier was killed while we weren't looking. Oh my goodness. Aw, oh, dude, come on. You can't do that. Oh, no. I looked away. No. Oh, it's over. It's over, but yeah, and yo, know, it's just Mar. It's just it's space fight. It's space fleet retardy. It's basically what it is. Except people built these fleets, like they, people put together these fleets, and people get really competitive for this. They do, but we we didn't do, get that competitive over this one. Because well, because it's all wave based and it's survival. Yeah, it's 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 PVE, so everyone's just kind of having fun with it instead. Which is a nice change. It really gotta... is. I like everyone working together. Other than we started to get a little bit toxic last tournament. To Not be majorly. fair, to be fair, when it came to the actual stream, it was fun. Oh, there's there goes the Jesuit. Yep, they're not gonna win this unless unless uh, these three I bulwarks can work together. The this wave. Unless these three bulwarks can work together. Oh, it's together. only three bulwarks. Ah, oh, shit, they're fucked. Or Crusaders. Sorry, they used to be called bulwarks. Um, are they called Crusaders? Uh, yeah, they are Crusaders. I'm, I could have sworn they were called Bulwarks at some point. Yeah, they were. Is that shield system? I'm not even sure if they can get... I think they can get through the, um, the shield and the armor of the, uh, of the IBB, but, uh, otherwise... They, they need uh, to actually work together, and that's just something Templars don't do. Yeah, they don't. They're not a fleet. They're a bunch of really annoying and really fanatical uh, screaming eagles. <laughs> so like Crus so like Crusaders, right? They're gonna they're gonna get America on their asses. <laughs> oh, geez, two done. They're just yep. fighting around the chunk of the Chevalier. Yep. And there goes the core. I like how people added how how Dark Revenant added in the fucking Templar flux cores as like an illegal item. Illegal item and all, uh, but or also a commodity in plan a, or a commodity. You can, you can exchange the cores as like AI cores at yeah. Uh, stations. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. So if you if you do some Templar hunting, you can zero to one hundred your uh, faction relationship instantly. Oh, it's really profitable as well, just because of yeah. how expensive they are. What's the CR like? Oh God, uh, Templar are at zero. Well, at least one of them is. Yep. On my end, I see a zero CR, but that just died. Finally. So that's how far back I am. Yeah, we haven't had a death for a while. It looks to just be the Dominator and the Ludic Path uh, Onslaught versus the two uh, Crusader classes. Yep, now I'd say normally, oh, maybe they'll get CR, but no. Nope, no, nope, um, nope, never they're, mind. They're the, the Crusader's dying. One of the Crusaders destroyed. is dying. It's yeah, over. And cruisers and uh, Capitals aren't going to lose CR to a Destroyer. It's just not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's over. Even with even with its fighter, its Tudin Provoker, it's not happening. Yeah, goodbye, goodbye, little fighter. Goodbye, little boy. 
Ripperoo. <laughs> Ripperoonie. Oh, and the, oh, it just missed the charge. Missed the charge. Barely doing any armor damage. Yep. This is it. Yep. Speed it up. Okay. Too bad it's so slow. Nothing happening. Nothing happening, vampire. And then the Dominator starts its barrage of Annihilators. It's basically over at this point. It's just gonna get... It's just gonna get destroyed by Annihilators. Mm-hmm. And TPC if the uh, Onslaught's feeling generous. And there are Reapers, which missed. He wanted to try. Yeah, we can't We can't get good plays unless uh, the AI tries. And there goes... There goes the onslaught on its magnificent bizarre adventure. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> Goodbye. And here comes the death of the Crusader. Its engines are base. Yeah, its engines are out. It's flying. It has no shields on. Unless it has shields right now. Or it has one. Oh, it has one engine. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Oh, the Dominator just got overloaded. Oh. And then the Onslaught just is coming in again. <laughs> uh, that was comedic. Fun? That was comedic. Oh, you thought you were going to have fun? You thought you were going to win? The question. And then it runs away again. It runs away again. These guys are teasing the Crusader. Teasing. This is torture. Play with your food, not with your friends. <laughs> Damn. These aren't shark classes, you're not allowed to make that joke. We consistently see this crusader able to dominate this, well, dominator. And the annihilators come in. And wave three vanquished. Yet? They weren't out of missiles yet, huh? They were not out of missiles yet. So yep. all wave is loading path again? Three? Uh, they were vanquished in a wave three, so two points. Yep. Next up, we got... Disassemble, reassemble. This is the last one. Yep. Oh, what about May Surin? Yeah, but, oh. Why don't I have this written down? Oh, it maybe... Oh, no, it is. It is dis disassemble, reassemble. It's not using the May Surin mod. It is just named that. It's literally just named Maceran right here. Okay. Who's, uh, whose faction? Oh, it's Night Chase. Night Chase okay. is Got it. Is the submitter. All right, let's get in there. So we see a uh, bull, some griffins, a lot of good ships here. So apparently Knight may or may not have gone full meme Harrier because Harriers have flux shunts. Wait, what now? Harrier? They're the triangle cruisers. Oh. Oh, oh, right. Oh, goodness. The Harriers, right. The one, yeah, the cruiser with the shot, one right? big large one, right. Oh, goodness, he did. He has two they of are them. Full name. He has so many cruisers. Let's see. One, two. Wait, Hashtag one, two, three, four, team. five, six. Jesus. Jesus! Look at these missiles! Look at them! Oh yeah. What what what, um, what missiles? The swarmers? <laughs> yes. You Those are uh. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Chase. Chase. Get ready, cause it won't stop. <laughs> I I really hope this is an actual lagging. <laughs> Ah, it's fine. Oh my goodness. It's not like it, it not like it made the stream more shitty, come on. <laughs> well, here's this retribution class. I always 
you know, Retribution is a really recent addition, considering, and I really love the thing. You Very know, fast. people ask me, how do you fight phase ships? I tell them, well, you download the Symbol Reassemble in the Arsenal expansion, mm -hmm. you, you get the Artillery Swarmers, and you put them on every small missile slot in your fleet. Yeah. Phase ships no longer exist to you. <laughs> they have ceased to exist completely. So yeah, let's yep. see what's going on. Oh, goodness. There's so much going on. We see fighter strikes down here and a decent battle line with just swarmers everywhere. This is insane. Why did you do this? Chase! Chase! Delete this! Oh, he has Hunter. He has Griffin Hunters as well. Those are Hunters, right? It is not... Okay. Yeah, right. they have the large bullets. Right. I, I was about to call it bullshit. Like, uh... Not up. I was about to call it the bullseye, but I know it's not that. I don't think they're particularly good because they're basically just a griffin with a large ballistic slot, which means that they don't have the flux to support themselves. And they don't have, yeah, and they, instead of their large missile, which is their calling card, considering they're a missile ship. Besides, they're not built for front range. So yeah, they the... are. They don't have the flux to support it at all. Yeah, here's the vendetta, which I have not ever seen in combat, so this will form my impression of it. Apparently, it's just supposed to be a faster, battle shippier, um, well, battle cruisier uh, onslaught with without TPCs, so it's not actually that. Oh, There's the, uh, the onslaught lot... with the flight decks? Wait, what now? You know what I mean, like the onslaught with the flight decks? Does it have flight decks? It does. No, the um, the Arsenal expansion Arsenal was onslaught and it has flight decks. Oh, has... okay. Oh, that one. You mean the the blue one? It's a different capital entirely. Yeah, yeah. You mean the blue one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, um, well, I mean, Lore, Lore Tex says uh, that this ship was the sister ship to the Onslaught. Or the sister class. I don't know where it's going. Oh, it's fighting a single phase ship. <laughs> yep. Yep, That that's how this AI works. Yeah, let's just pull away our heaviest thing to chase something forever. People complained that the AI wasn't uh, going... So I guess AI Alex just turned the slider up to 11, and now they never stop attacking one target that they decide to make. Alex! Hey man, he's doing what the people wanted, okay? <sighs> he should this is stop. what people wanted. He they wanted aggressive AI. They wanted the AI who killed themselves. <laughs> Alex! Sometimes Alex needs to just tell people to shut up. I'm just saying. Oh, he doesn't. He, he doesn't tell them to shut up, but he does actively ignore a lot of it. Good. Which is good, because you know. We're not game developers. We like to think yeah. we are. We're not. People who play a game tend to be some of the worst people to give advice on how the game should be. Yeah. Because, I would. Um, I would never tell somebody like. Here's the thing. Like. Um, God, who was uh, Child Services? With he was making the Ludic Path mod, and I was like, he was asking me like, "Hey, how should it be?" And I'm like, "You should not ask me because I'll tell you to make everything overpowered. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be bad." Meanwhile, I strive towards underpowered as hell, so sometimes you gotta ignore me in order to make things actually entertaining. Yeah. yeah. I'm an old man with a shotgun sitting on my porch. <laughs> Grimacing at all the kids. <laughs> uh, one day I'll be that. One day. Hopefully. The trick is to start taking yourself seriously and then never stop. Oh no, I've already got that down. Oh no, I've become. I've I've come full circle. <laughs> yep. All right, just missile to death. Missile to death. Macross Missile Mayhem, Macross Missile Mayhem. It's massacre, actually. I'm sorry, I'm not a weeaboo. Hey man, that shit's from like the fucking 80s, or well, Yeah, and? Does that make it not from Japan? Yes. Does, did, did, did Japan not exist in the 80s? Yes. Technically, technically it kind of didn't. Well, I mean, That's like, a strange tilt stance to have. You occupation know? was still happening, dude. Remember American occupation? Pretty sure it was still happening in the 80s. Whatever. 
when everything is overpowered, no one will be. That is not true, Snack. You have not seen... You have not seen the horrors I have in this game. Alright, Snack. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on the Fractal Softworks forums, right? And you're gonna download a uh, mod developed by a user named Xenoart. Okay? Stop! Stop! Do and... not! Do not do this to him! <laughs> do not do this to and Snack! And then, you will see... We see the retributions poking in, pushing enemies into tight little corner, like tight little packs like this, and just we see huge missile brushes coming in. Oh, like right now. See? See this? These are the tactics the AI is using. It's actually kind of genius. Jeez. It takes so long for the AI to kill, but goodness, it's doing it so well. Please appreciate the Harriers that have flex shunts and literally don't take damage. Yeah, yeah, I am right now. They don't. <laughs> they like it's look evil, at this shit. It? I, I had to I had to basically talk uh, Night Chase into using them because he didn't realize how amazing that flex shunt. Oh, so this is your fault. So all yeah, of this, this is, is your fault. fault. <laughs> this that that is my fault. I agree. <laughs> oh, so this is your You're fault. Welcome. <laughs> I'll take all the blame. Knight gets all the positive credit. It's you! Missile launchers. There's something Star Sector has thought were good. So yeah, continue talk shit-talking Xeno, because, you know, that'll never get old, ever. Hey, man. All I'm saying is... I know is... the other streamers here don't know anything about Xeno or Xeno's mods. Thumpers should do 900 DPS, you know? Just for free. Just for free! Just for free. <laughs> hey, you know what I should do? I should fucking... We, you know what sh should happen when you install Xenomods? They should all hook together into some fucking... Really fucking weird shit that looks hey, really dude, suspicious. Hey, say fucking again, right quick, alright? You didn't say it enough in that sentence. Wait, what now? You, you, you say the word fucking like a white girl says like. I'm sorry. It's because I'm not actually- Did I- Did they just kill a kite? Did- Did you see that? You will see that. I- I'll see it later. <laughs> like, in ten minutes, maybe. Shut up. I'm getting enough shit from myself. This is- This is a really good website you have here. Here... It's actually not the website. It's just me. It's not the website. Quad did a good fucking job. It's just me. How many salamanders are on that battleship? Which one? The 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 um the player's battleship. Okay. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like four eight. medium slots are devoted to it. Yeah, but how many smalls? I don't see any. You don't see any? Yeah, I don't see any in here. Seems like more than eight coming out of that thing. Yeah. Unless it has fast missile racks. Maybe. Ooh. That makes sense. That'd be a meme and a half. Oh god, why did you do this? Blake fucking stop. Shut up, cart. Shut up, cart. So yeah, let's... Okay, everyone else has fallen eventually to the annihilators on these... Uh, on the, um... Dominators. Dominators. Yeah. So let's see how the Harrier meme works for this. I think uh, Harrier will meme pretty well. Yeah, I mean, Apparently it's doing died. pretty good except against those autocannons. Does not like those autocannons. Yeah, it's not working that well. Mm. But it is venting flux. It is standing up much longer than most uh, ships did. Ooh, and it got overloaded by Sabos. But it's being backed up at least. So do you think they're going to make it past Ludic? Hard to say. I mean, they just, uh, Ludic just lost two ships, so, oh, three ships. Wait, wait, a Colossus retreated. Are they allowed to do that? I mean, they is going to do it regardless. There's no real way to stop that. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm getting to the Harrier now, and I'm watching it get hit by two Dominators and the Onslaught at once. You didn't say this, dude. That's, that's different than just, like, one. Hmm. Hmm, not sure. I it's mean, it held together. It held together completely. 
to be fair. Oh yeah, it, it looks perfectly fine. It's just that I, I get iffy when flux gets high. That's always been me. I'm oh, yeah, you, super you. cautious. I'm super cautious when it comes. Unless it's fucking invincible, it's not durable to me. <laughs> I have very high standards when it comes to my fleets. Yep, and as we see here, the masterful plan of the AI has come to fruition. They've surrounded the enemy, and now the LUDs can fire in every direction. Of course, and they're equ especially equipped for it, except they don't have any range on any of their guns. So they're just gonna <laughs> Too bad. And cry. Oh, let's look at the battleship. Oh, is the battleship in an attack range finally? Yes, both of them are in attack range. Both of them. Beautiful. So they're just they're just lightly dueling. They're tapping each other. Oh, TPCs are firing off. I love that these saturation missiles do kinetic damage. That's just. That's just. I, mm. I love that they don't allow shields, you know? Yeah. I think they're gonna make it past. Oh, there's major bullying over here. This Man, this is you, rape. I'm sorry. Every time you zoom out, it's just a cloud of nonsense missiles. It really is. I'm sure the artifacting is perfect. Oh, yeah, the, the quality gets. It, it actually does drop. This is, the, this is the fleet to finally start dropping. God damn it, Knight! Compression artifacting. Why did you do this to my stream? Not that he could have known how shit, you know. The I mean, doesn't. Been. Can you really blame him? Hate the game, not the player. Enforcer down, and there goes a dominator, and everything closes in on the poor little metaphorical brick wall that is the onslaught Ludic Path. Mm -hmm. Remember, each of these uh, projectiles, when they hit armor, they can only be up to 15%, um, I believe, of their total damage. Yeah. Which is silly, considering how much armor that they would otherwise have. Mm. It's a great new mechanic for uh, point eight, I believe. <laughs> Just give me outposts, please. I want to colonize. I want to actually colonize the sector. Oh, that retribution is not having a good day. I want a follower start without having to use the next one random gen. <laughs> Your own faction's best faction. Just saying. Yeah. Declare war on everyone, just for no reason. Just hey, I, I, I'm, for no I wanna, reason. I want to Nevermore, and I don't feel like maintaining um, a positive relationship. Can I just invade their markets? Yeah. <laughs> no one can stop you. No one can stop you. And wave four. And the, Ooh, and the battleship is still active. The last one, this is the last fleet to, the, the first fleet to have made it to wave four since the looters. Yeah. Oh boy. And they're still dealing with the with the Ludic path down here. They just cannot bring down this this artifact of holy war. They just can't. It's fucking invincible, fam. They're just pouring missiles into him. So many missiles, <laughs> no little time. <laughs> Literally no time because pirates are about bearing down on the half of the other half of the fleet and they're losing ships. They're actively losing ships and it's not fun. Although the hair there is a harrier here, so it's fine. Oh wow, he is actually just taking no damage. Yep. Just nothing. Harrier sees your weapons and it chooses to ignore them. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's a bull class right next to him and he's taking damage. Nah, sounds like bull. Oh, shush. Shush you. Na, 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 oh, na, na, and the Harrier died somewhere. Somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. It died right over here. 
There's more than one Harrier, though. I think there's like three. There looked to be two at the beginning, but I may be wrong. And there goes the bull. And I don't think they're going to win this round. Two out of position. Two few Yeah, they're too spread out. They, if, if the final ship was anything but an onslaught, they could have actually regrouped, but they yeah. got split up. And yep, that's and just here's the... Uh, Here's the Vendetta class going down. Wait, is that our... It's our boy! It's your boy, Venom X! The Venom X! Straight from the underground! <laughs> straight from the underground! Oh, wow. It actually... <laughs> it's using time compression to wiggle. Why? <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, DJ yeah, there's, the there's a retribution done. It's it's pretty much over here. They tried so hard and they got so far. But, but in, in the, the end, end, they got... It doesn't even matter. Oh, no! The Amalgam class... A, an Amalgam class w blew up, destroyed a Harrier, and that destroyed the Venom X. Oh, but there's another one. There's another one. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, there's two Venom Xs. Hooray. As long as one of our boys survives. Wiggle, wiggle. You can do it, little boy. I believe in you. <laughs> the wiggling will save the day. <laughs> it's it's the team, it's the cheerleader of the team, let's be honest. Truly. With its 27 seconds of peak performance time. <laughs> yep, as the rest of the looters fleet, or the uh, pillager fleet just closes in slowly, that retribution's dead. Wiggle, wiggle. Yep, oh. dragon's coming in. Oh, I just saw that chain kill, yeah. Oh, wave four vanquished. Oh, vanquished by wave four, I guess. Three points for disassemble, reassemble. One of the best mods, in my opinion. Beautiful mod. What is? Uh, disassemble, reassemble. The one that we were just watching? Yes. Oh, that's a high review. I like it. Has a lot of interesting ships. Anyways, so we have Oryx, uh, Naughty Doggos. No, we don't. We that's don't? Prime League. That's Prime League? All right, yep. that's been it. We are finished. We are finished here today. It's been... Three hours, which isn't terrible, actually. That's not terrible. That's fine. So it that's took me been... three and a half hours last week. All right, all right. That's fine. <laughs> and I'm not even going to get into the Prime League because, I'm sorry, they deserve more respect than I can actually physically give it. So, yeah. I've been JC19. This has been Dizzy. I'm Dizzy, don't sell it. Ah! And that's been the underdogs for round two. See you, see you guys next Thursday. Hopefully I'll be in the chat, but we'll see. Anyways. I love you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Dizzy. <laughs> see you guys. That was a terrible stream. Fuck my life. <laughs> We're off. Woo! Don't forget to forget to uh, stop recording and...